<gasps> We're back with the suffering. Now, we played this on a compilation. Yes, on a PlayStation 2 uh, showcase. Yeah, we did like 40 minutes of it. Basically, we're a dude who was convicted of killing his wife and kid, and then we go to prison, and all the prisoners were this talking shit. shit goes and back to World War II. Army or Navy or some shit had a base on this island. It's near the road that goes to the docks. That's got to be where they started their experiments, trying to create a super soldier or some insane shit. And then uh, monsters showed up, and we became a monster, and then we made friends with Dallas. And I think last time we left off, we were like, we got to keep this guy alive because in this game, you can choose. And like the monster tells Choices you- Choices matter. The monster's like, kill him. And then I think the voice of a woman is like, nah, he's cool. Be nice to him. So you get to make the decision as a player. This game was pretty cool. This game was a lot of fun. And uh, a lot of people were saying we need to keep the playthrough going. So I'll have to get used to the buttons again. And we're also, uh, we're, we're picking this up from, uh, playing it from a month or two, uh, back, so we're gonna kind of learn, but also 4K 60 FPS, so it looks pretty. Yeah. I do remember one thing. Let me test my buttons. You're about to go into a shower room at the bottom of the staircase, that's and right. in there, that's where Dallas died. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You gotta keep him alive. I don't know if you want to go in there, but the one thing I do remember about that room was you were supposed to take out the shower heads because they were pumping gas out. Mm. And that's Only why you died, you, it was just like an endless wave of enemies. Of uh -huh. So up. if you have to go Fuck in the there, parole board, man. I, I, beat him. Think we're going, I think we're going this way. Dallas is awesome, man. He just keeps going. Yeah, and we're using save states so we can kind of cheese it a little bit. I think we're going this way. You're going through here. And I, I think, think we finished the shower thing, actually. I think we had to redo the shower, shower scene because uh, he died. And we're like, oh, we oh. wanted to keep him. Yeah, Dallas is cool. He's rocking with us the whole game. God damn it if we can. The fuck? I like this game too. The you go first person or nah. You guys were stuck there. Yeah, it was a tough area. I remember the showers. We didn't know what to do, and then we figured out you had to turn off everything. And that's kind of where we get left off. Hell yes, dude. This game got a lot of love too. People were like, you guys need to do more than 40 minutes. This game's too good. I feel like this game would actually do well with a remake. Yeah. Or an update. Damn, those big cartoony syringe guns. It's big <laughs> polygons. Oh. Getting ready for wow. Halloween. That's why we're checking this game out, man. Wow. Wow. It's cool that they're listening to the soundtrack of Roseanne. <laughs> Filmed in front of a live studio audience. I think you might be going the wrong way. I think we might be backtracking. Are we? Yeah, I remember this from the, the, the video we just watched before we went live. Okay, maybe the blood's telling you to go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dallas, you live this time, God damn it! I gotta keep the little monsters off of him. Keep him safe, Joss. Yeah, in this game, you can transform into a monster. It's got, like, Silent Hill meets arcade shoot 'em up type of a thing. Yeah, it's a really cool gameplay style. First person or third person, whatever you want. Where is he? Okay. Oh, this song! Oh, yeah, the American prince. Man, what is this shit on the floor? Looks like blood, but it's, it's like it's breathing or something. <laughs> oh, shit. You got to keep him alive. It's that alien from Mexico. And I tell you, I ain't never been so fucking scared. What kind of sick mutant was that thing? <laughs> fucking government, fucking experiment, fucking bullshit. He's I popping can up. There's more! There's more! <laughs> Hell yeah! No place to hide. I like Never when he had so much pretty. he has so much fun killing him. Like, <laughs> yeah! Die! I'm huh. happy I went to prison so I can shoot these monsters. Die slow, motherfucker! Oh shit! Oh my god! Woo. Dude, he saved your ass! Let's go, Dallas! This Yo, good cover, Dallas. Good cover. Ew. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> and you guys are starting to remember why we had to keep him. Now that those freaks stop coming, there's got to be some way to get these goddamn the music coming from. Not hold me, American prison. And I hold an American prison. And just so you know, Just, uh, quick save is F1, and then quick load is F3. Okay. 
playing on PS2 I and would you. quick save right now. Got good it. idea, good idea. This game is dope. Just gonna kill me. Yeah, it's like, a fun. Playing them? this game was so much fun to seeing everyone come out and play this because uh, I checked what the stats on Twitch before we went live on this. One person was watching this category. And whenever it's like these categories on Twitch, you play these, you people who love this Attention, game, check it out. It's really cool. Officers. Whoa. The this fuck is, is that? Our grave. We have the situation under control in V-Block. Repeat, we have everything under control. CO oh yeah, I can open all these. Your orders. The hour Got it. Of retribution is at hand. Retribution. Now, we shall cleanse this island. Okay. You guys should check the game notes. They're all voiceovered and lore of the monsters. Ooh. Hey, Tor. I want to see what this The gates are open now. We got to keep moving, man. <laughs> like it's talk, gun. Talking with it, too. <laughs> got to keep moving, man. Thanks, <laughs> Dallas. Are we can hit the showers or this area. What Yo, what up, Dick Planet? Yo, oh, Dick Planet. Yo, that big dick hanging out. Did you see the suffering and say, you gotta check it out? Because it's worth it, man. This game's tight. Any bar you rip up to, I am. Who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> I am. Any bar up to. <laughs> Any bar up to. Who do you think you are? The pitter patter of his feet clapping the floor. Oh, I remember Fuck, this part. Man. Yeah, so I think the it's the shower shots. nozzles. Bad shit going down here. I'd rather stay stanky than shower in this bit. <laughs> in this bit. <laughs> oh Fuck, no. I think they infinitely spawn. That's the thing. Yeah, you gotta take out the showers. Or something. Oh, is it like shoot them? I don't know. Uh, I think it might be either a valve. Flashbang. Ready to get to the end, maybe? Let's look around. No, go up to them and turn them off. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Where's Dallas? Damn, they don't die, man. Fucking... How many bullets does it take? I think they spawn infinitely too. Fuck that. Fuck that one. We gotta turn off all of these, dude. Pocket sand. Whoa, whoa. shoot the fire. You might be able to turn into a monster. I forget how. Fuck that one. Fuck you. I'll just go for turning these off as much as I can. Whoa, turn around. Dallas, no! Don't you die on me! Don't you fucking die! Or drop the soap. I'm also very low on life. How do I... Oh! We're going crazy! You did it. Don't hurt Dallas. Dallas, run away from me! I can't control myself! Dallas, run! Uh-oh. Dallas, run! I think this is bad. I need to heal. So bad. What button is heal? He just did it or something. Circle, got it. Alright, let's turn these off. Don't test me. What a mission. Come on, Dallas. Don't die. We love you. Damn, he's getting needled. Flashbang. Come on. No. Fuck, that. Fuck that one. Save Dallas. I'm trying. Uh. Stop jumping on Dallas. Dude, they're just <laughs> all take there's so many of them. There's no way. Dallas! I have them all off, right? I think there's one to the right, straight ahead, straight ahead. Straight the left straight. They got it. Circle. They oh. got it. All right. You you know what to do this time. Yeah. Now it's all coming back to me. Okay. It's all coming back to me. 
the American prison. Attention, T Block Officer. Button. This is Andre. Simon, thank you so much for the eight months. Dirty Dirty, Kyle, Calbrex, Morty, hey, welcome back. And Jimmy the Pack got married. Oh. We gotta keep moving. COs should report to B Block to receive your order. So those gates are open now and they're not the open. Hour of retribution. <laughs> the gates are open now, man. Oh, King there it is. Asked, we shall cleanse no? this island of the filth the hell? that infests it. Hey, to press it? I have. You did. I did. And Dallas said you turned you opened the doors, man. In the loft, thank you, man. Just turn off that water. Yeah, I'll see if I can just bum rush the, all the showers. Or maybe just go the route without less shower heads. Fuck, man. The T block showers. I think it all could have shit gone down here. When I was living in T block, I'd rather stay stanky than shower in this bit. This bit. Who turned on the water? They're all just jumping on Dallas. Oh shit. Oh, See how close it. that bullet was? Just run, Dallas! Just bum rush all the showers. Ooh, even the super. Why is sick. this one in a cage in an actual The cell? guy that goes in there is real bad. Yeah. Dude, imagine you're so nasty in the shower, you have your own cell in the shower. For the other prisoner's sake. I mean, Dallas can take a big beating. He's beefy. Flashbang. No! Fuck. Stop my flashbang. Pling! Pling! Stinky Pete. Turning He's this one turning on. on. No. All right. Is that it? Hmm. Huh. I think that was it. Yeah, I remember their goo on the floor still hurts. God oh, damn it, Dallas. What are you doing? What are these? Dude, they take so many shots. Big pills? Shoot that extinguisher. Ah. Ah. That one? Wow, this, uh, this time was much better going left instead of right. Yeah. Over the hot embers. Save? Down, down, down. Yo, you got that, Dallas? Oh. You're gonna burn to cool, death? Cool, cool. Are, you, are you cool, man? <gasps> we saved Dallas. Big boot? Go Pills. First person mode. Got that revolver ammo. I, I love that was a box of Sprite. <laughs> I love horror in this uh, genre of gaming. Is everything so blocky? What they did to fire Take that. Take that, Joe Byron. Revenge for <laughs> Joe Byron. <laughs> what they did to him and his eyeballs. Damn what they did to Byron. <laughs> we did it, Joe. Got the shoddy yet? I got Tommy gun, shiv, revolver, dual revolvers. Did it go Tommy gun, dude? I think we're only 40 minutes into the game. I'll Never save. Never like F being in F1 a fucking to wood. Too dark. You know what I'm saying? Give me a fucked up wood any day. If it's there, I know what I'm getting into. Tell him, Dallas. He's gonna be our plot. Shoot him, Dallas! Oh, he's making you crazy. Ooh, the Silent Hill guys. Remember these? Is someone helping you? Yeah, I hear another guy. That's right, fuck his ass. Ew. <laughs> Dude, he's so cool. Yo, this game's tight. Did you guys ever play this, like, back when it was... No. I never even, like, knew about this game, man. I and heard about a sequel. it, but I never actually played it. I'm gonna go monster mode. Fuck him up. God, everything dies in one hit. It's beautiful. What? That's it? You ended it premature. Yeah, you can end it. Yeah, how does the sequel hold up to this one, chat? I never was, like, into horror, uh, like, games when I was growing up. 
Yeah, I think we, I got more to it as I, I streamed. Yeah, we missed out on all the good horror games. I was too scared. Yeah. It is pretty fucking back in the day, man. I remember there was a demo uh, version of Resident Evil in a Target. And I got to the point where the, the zombie turns around and looks at you cutscene. And I was like, I don't want to play this, not Christian! <laughs> You're like, oh, let's play Mario 64, because yeah. fuck this. Also, demo version of Resident Evil in a department store? Pretty fucked up, man. I remember the one that got me the most was, um, like, the most hype of, like, a game at the, like, Target was when they had the Dreamcast hooked up. Mm. I was like, whoa, Sonic's 3D? I was like, this is fucking insane, man. Just running around with a giant whale at the sp Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got I'm places to go. Currently Shopping working on a, a Target. Working on a, a col uh, collection for Dreamcast. <gasps> really? Yeah. They just have their, like, I forget how long, an anniversary 23 years? Dreamcast. 20 years? I could, like, I didn't even know I could do max pain rolls. Forgot about that. Dude, if they came out with a Dreamcast Pro, that'd be sick. Like a uh, mini? Yeah. So if I were able to get C Man to work. You gotta become it. I, I tried to fight it. I've heard it's not worth. No but I'd love to I'd love to see it. That was a ghost. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Is I it? don't think C Man would hold up. Yeah, I heard it's just weird. It's like bad AI. Yeah. Sea man. It's like the fish with the human head. I think I've seen an angry video game nerd talk about it. Yeah, he talked about how non-fun and yeah. nothing happens. How slow it is. Out the way, Dallas. I, I have Ill Breed. Ill Breed's fucking tight. I'll definitely be showing that off. Tommy gun, Tommy gun, Tommy gun. If we're playing any fish game on the Dreamcast, we need to get Bass Hunter or whatever, the one where they had the... <laughs> yep. That'd be sick. Or Eco. Hell Echo. Yeah. You wanna play Echo? Echo on there? I'll show you guys C man. Sword of Berserk, I got that man. That game's tight. Mm -hmm. Checkpoint. I'll save. What the hell happened here? Flamethrower instructions. We can make her craft it? You hear that predator like clicker? Urgent notes, photos. A photo of your family. Fat Superfly, thank you for the gifty sub -os. Yo, gifted subs. Wow. Is what? this the suffering? It is. It's in 4K. Can we go back? Sorry. Was that a poster for the, the movie Little Man? Poster for what? Little Man? Where? Who? The Wayne Swins movie about the... The short that? fellow who <laughs> pretended to be a child. That's it, all right. Get the urgent note, flashlight, do a revolver. And the reason why the icons aren't there is because it's a widescreen hack. <laughs> Sorry, Dallas. I accidentally lost my mind instead of opening the door. You good? It's all good, man. Just don't touch me. <laughs> I got D2 for Dreamcast. Yeah, that game is fucking weird. I'm definitely showing that one off. D2? Yeah. Diablo? Nope. Not Diablo. What the fuck was that? The hell is D2? Don't go, don't go in that shit. It'll hurt you. Don't go in there, He's Dallas. thinking about it. Dallas, don't go in there. <laughs> Dang, bro. It'll hurt you. It'll hurt you bad. DC game Armada back in the day? I don't know about that. If you do have a Dreamcast games that you guys want me to check out, drop it in the Discord, please. I'm making a big list. We'll do another retrospective. Can you guys play Fantasy Star Online? Relax, Dallas. Just me and you. Oh my god! <laughs> Take that. Revenge for Joe Byron. Ow, fucker. I also wanted to check out uh, Time Splitters. I just had such a huge nostalgia trip for that game. More so Time Splitters too, I think, than the other ones. Because the other ones were just like mission based. But chat, oh, if you never played it, you missed out, man. You guys want to know something crazy? 
Time Splitters 2 was the first game I played on the Djibouti show. Wow. Really? Lore. Yeah. Did we like we hopped yeah, into like it? Did we play a multiplayer game like style? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of a player. Damn, they take some future perfect. Yeah, dude. I don't think the story's too long on Time Splitters 2. I think it was mostly about having a multi-tap and having all your homies come through. It was like Fortnite Goldeneye. Time Splitters 2, baby. Ever play Turok? I have one and two for um N64. The cartridge? Yeah. They're making number three? Uh-oh, I'm answering the phone. By oh. Byron. Uh, Dallas. Dallas. D Dallas. D D oh, God, Dallas. 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 Oh, yeah, we got to play Dynamite Cop, which is basically uh, Die Hard, Die Hard Arcade, Arcade 2. I get that. Because the Japanese version of Die Hard Arcade was Dyna Cop Dynamite Cop 1. And they have Dynamite Cop 2 for Dreamcast, but they didn't get the license from Fox for Die Hard Arcade for the US. Man, so they just called so it Dynamite Cop 2. And it is fire. Dynamite Cop. When I modded uh, I Pop's Dreamcast, that was like the first game I ever booted up. And I was like, yo, this is fucking sick. Yeah. Broken okay, well. Shadows of the Damned? Is that a 360 game? Mm-hmm. I've never seen that game before. Just got here. Y'all talk about aliens? Yeah, dad sandwiches. You got to check the first, like, hour and a half of the VOD or whatever. We deep-dived on Mexico aliens. We'll also be uh, making a VOD if you want to watch it on YouTube. Bring the ruckus, motherfucker. Whoa. Bring the ruckus. The ruckus. Dead? Uh -huh, you're stuck on a table, idiot. Government. The government lies. Bring the rock. What? Oh, he's pogging so hard. Oh, get a side angle on that pog. He talked to me, dude. Oh. 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 oh, posing for the blood thumbnail. Or shit? Oh. Posing for the thumbnail is what he's doing. Yo, his eyeball are bugging out. Oh, oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That guy tried to bring the ruckus. And ruckus back. Um, yo, fat superfly, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, wool. And, uh, guess Ruby it, Dragon, welcome back. I see the Unity stuff. I saw like Unity pulled some stunt, like fucking up all their developers. Yeah, so they're making this thing rather than because uh, there's two parts of uh, Unity. There's the part that creates the game, and there's the part that runs the game, right? And so when you install the game that runs Unity, it runs that part of it. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna start charging people, companies, devs, for every time someone installs their game. Wow. So yeah. I saw someone like meme something up where they're like, I guess I owe Unity five million dollars because he sold a bunch of copies of his game. Yes. <laughs> and it was a bit of a Fuck. meme. But, 20 cents per install. But they are going to do like a retroactive thing. So like in 2023, I think, from what I heard, is like they can go back and be like, well, your game was installed X amount of times. So you owe us X amount of money. Oof. Ooh. I heard a bunch of like devs are jumping ship off of Unity and going to other uh, platforms. Dude, imagine you were the Why guy. Why do they do that? Big money. But who's going to use their shit now? They don't care. Imagine you can hit up all these people for millions of dollars. To switch to what's the other one? Unreal? I guess so. Uh, Unreal 5 has been kind you of a, taking Unity's kind of pay money. You have a lot, of, doing there's that. a lot of options, right? Oh, Jesus. So then there's the F mod man. thing too, Heartbreak right? I believe so. There's some old ones. I don't even know what they're you called. Uh, GB Studio, my personal my legs, favorite bro. game developing platform. From what I understand, the CEO of Unity was the former CEO of EA, who introduced uh, uh, FIFA loot crates. Wow. So, <laughs> that guy knows. That guy knows how to that make guy knows money. How to do it. Bring the ruckus, motherfucker. Bring the ruckus. That's why I keep you around, Dallas. You remind me to bring the ruckus. Yeah. Oof, sorry. Friendly fire. Can you heal Dallas? That'd be kind of dumb. I don't know if I can. 
I think he just has like regenerative health. He takes Don't a beating ass. Up. He's standing in the shit right now, but when he doesn't stand in the pain, he's good. Dude, the raid boss would be yelling at him so hard. <laughs> You're standing in the fucking poison. <laughs> he's got the healing factor, I guess so. On the subject of aliens, you found big video of Bigfoot. <sighs> Bigfoot, man, seems like such old news now, man. Yeah. He's so out of style, dude. I feel bad for all the Bigfoot fans. Like, dude, fucking Mexico's showing aliens. We can't get one hair off of that foot to turn up. Not one hair. I feel like I believe more in a Yeti than I do in a Bigfoot. <laughs> I just more believe so in, like, just extra, extra large chimps in the jungle. Because think about it. Like, a lot of Antarctica, you know? Right. Like, we have no idea what's going on there. True. Yeah. I'm pretty sure all of the forest has kind of been, you know, looked through at least one time. Um, it's not like the ocean thing where they're like, dude, we've only technically seen like 5% of the our ocean. I think the forest still has a decent amount we don't know about, but... I think, uh, I think Bigfoot misses opportunity to get clout. Yeah, he had like that hot spurt like in the 70s. Where if like him and his uh, Bigfoot wives were to come out, then people would have been all over it, but... I think it was just a dude in a suit, personally. Hey, he had you. his time. You gotta save us! Shh! Keep it down! He'll hear you! Hargrave's gonna whack us! Hargrave's <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna whack us! Hargrave? In here! In here! Hargrave. Help me! Help us! Should we watch them? I mean, I gotta, I gotta Go take care him. of, I gotta take care of Dallas. What are you doing? Go help him. Come on. What are you doing? Help us! Save. Checkpoint. <laughs> Please. Oh man, you're here. You gotta save us before Hargrave gets back. You gotta cut us down. You I gotta... don't think so. My prisoners never make it out alive. Holy shit. Dudes get lit up. Of course, there's the guy the who's running the whole circus. The yeah. The now we're gonna have more this fun, see? Dude, he's like the president from Metal Gear 2. Yeah. Or Metal Gear Revengeance or whatever. The senator. The buff senator. Oh, dude. Holy shit. I'm going in. Nice. I'm going in. Ooh, he still hits hard. Let me get all the ads. Watch out, Dallas. Circle, circle. I can't heal when I'm... Is that game over when you die like that, too? Alright, let me run that back, then. In here. Help us. <laughs> Help us. Inmates in the gallery. Gotta get around this guy. Don't let him live. Inmates in the gallery. Oh. Oh, shooting through here? No. There's another guy in there. Jesus Just hang back, Dallas. <laughs> Blast it. Take that, Byron. Can you kill this guy, you think? Control station, go above. Let's see what we can do. I think we just have to go upstairs, yeah. No, you cannot get a corner on this guy. Who the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, my God, his head came off. Just gotta go for it. Come on, Byron. Dodging bullets. Come on, Dallas. Let's fucking go, man. Dropping lore bombs on us. Oh, can we actually Ooh. get the drop on him like this? Ah, he's fucking gone, man. He's Bitch. smart. He dipped out. I think you need to go in there, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, watch out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Take two to tank. Going crazy on him. Let's see if we can kill him in one shot. Everybody knows the rules. Oh, oh. oh, he's a tank. Oh, his head came off. Oh my god, there I he goes. I don't think he's gonna live. He's gone. I think he died. Yo, we went insano and we showed a no moisy. Can I use this? Oh, hell yeah. Die! <laughs> Jesus. Ew. 
Yo, where's Dallas? Dallas? I don't hear his talking. We might have lost Dallas. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, y'all can just drop right there. Did, did, did Dallas? Dallas? Yeah, Dallas. I think I saw him on the floor. Ah! Cool. I think we lost Dallas. No! I don't know how he would survive this. Unless he knew to stand behind me. Dallas leaves after this anyways. Is this a wave or infinite? Maybe he didn't drop down. True. Yeah, I think he stayed up. Is that his body? I thought I saw it. I thought I saw it. Or is he it, just too. upstairs? Stuck on like a corner. Is he in the room? I didn't see him drop down, so I don't know what he did. I think he's dead. No. Mm. Dumb dead. I don't know if you're in a podcast or just confessionals about people, aliens, encrypted stuff. Oh, I got I get some of the stuff I'm listening to. What was the last the last little conspiracy thing I was looking into was um near death experiences. Ooh. That was some juicy stuff, dude. Some of those are wild. Go by the staircase. I think I saw Dallas's body. We had to bid farewell to our homie. I don't know which one's him, man. No. Oh no, those are all just random guys. I thought I saw him laying down right about here. Yeah, I think his body disappeared. But That's that terrible. might be the end. Maybe oh, he was man. never maybe he was never real. That might be true. <gasps> true is just a figment of your imagination. Poor bastards. Oh my god. <laughs> Do the other one. Help me. Help me in here. Help us. What about their arms? Their arms come off? Shoot them in the dick. Shoot them down. Louie. Like, could I have saved them? Louie, you're going to shoot a guy in the dick? He's already dead. You he never shoot a it. dead man's dick, dude. You're, you're right. He is dead. Fuck his stupid <laughs> dick. Oh, dude. That yeah. time of the month. Have you guys ever looked into the near death experience stuff? No. Louie? Well, like di uh, like dying and like seeing God? Yeah, the people who've died for like like the doctors like, holy shit, you were dead for like ten minutes. You're dead oh, for like twenty shit. minutes. And then they have like this whole journey they went on. Mm -hmm. Some of it's crazy as hell. Some it of them they come back and they're like I swear I lived like 10 years elsewhere. Whoa. Is it and like, like when, I uh, had all these friends and I could create life and I could fly through stuff and I could do this and I could see people even though I was gone. Do you think it's that's wild. just like a crazy DMT trip that your mind goes through as it's dying? That's kind of a theory, right? Is that when you die, your brain just releases all these chemicals and you just have this super deep trip. I think it's like when but, Tony Soprano was in a coma. Yeah, where he you, thought he was like a salesman. Super deep dreaming. Yo, somebody mentioned Gary Busey in the chat. Did you guys see the video of Gary Busey crashing into somebody's car? Yeah, and yeah. Then refusing to stop. Yeah, I don't know. You're sorry. It was good. In your car. He just acts like he's too cool and just goes. He oh, just drives God. away. He drives such a normal car too. For like, yeah. Gary I want to pull it up. I wonder if I could pull it up. It was on TMZ. Gary hit Busey and hit, hit and run. run. There's also um, Gary Busey's hit and run. Oh, it's just on the tip of my tongue. There was another thing that happened. Fuck. Totally drew a blank on it. Dude, chat, you never want to see your name in a headline and then hear... Dude, when you hear that... Oh, no. You're fucked. So she's got hit by this car. Sir, you hit my... And it's Gary P. He's laughing at her. He's like, so what? Shit happens. Car, I need your information. Whatever. Sir. I didn't hit your car. You hit my... See you later. I'm out of here. Is he driving down Malibu? It doesn't matter. That's not what does he say? It doesn't matter. He's got a referee hat. <laughs> He's got an NFL ref hat. He says, you can you can pipe down. Pipe down. Why don't you just fucking pipe down? They're making matter. a scene. That's not how this works. You hit my car. You have scuffs all over your car. <laughs> I didn't hit the car. Oh, oh, no. I didn't hit your car. No, I didn't. I want you Where's your insurance? I want the number. I want the information. No. The slowest getaway ever. Where's your insurance? No. Sir, you hit no. my car. It doesn't matter. You hit me. You hit my car. No, you... No, I did. Rear-ended me. 
You can't nope. hit someone Shy. in sleep. Wrong guy. Yo. And a 12 point turn out of here. Okay. Oh, she's in an exit. And she's get got out of the way. I'm got driving his, my Volvo. She's got you <laughs> hit you might car. get hit. Sir. <laughs> Dude, is this <laughs> fucking side mirror's all fucked up? I wouldn't expect him to be in a Volvo. I mean, it's a safe car. I'm guessing, like, he's been in so many accidents, like, he just drives whatever. At this at, point. Yeah, maybe you're right. He's just, I've, I've bumped and crashed so many nice cars. I just kind of do the Volvo thing. It's more now. of a bumper car at this point. I just go through Volvos. Yeah. I love they how he's just like, up. I'm private. I'm private. I can't tell you my information. If I tell you, I have to kill you. <laughs> They need to take him off the streets. Do you think Gary Busey's a good driver? No. You and he's can't out of there. Someone and then just leave. <laughs> yes, I can. Dun, 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 dun. I'm private. Sorry, Gary. Sorry, I, I, I'm private. So I'm Team Gary Busey. I love Gary Busey, but they need to take his license away, bro. That's, <laughs> that's pretty fucked. I'm, part of me is like, I think his way of thinking is like, Oh, if I give you my information, I'm a celebrity. If he's trying to do that angle, like that's where he's trying to defend himself. Like, I can't give you my stuff because then you would leak my info. Got to go by. I think that's what he's kind of bullshitting when he says I I'm private. I think that's what his brain's trying to like create the Sorry. reason to leave. Sorry, yeah, but that's it's literally the law. Like you crash into something, you have to give them the information. Clearly, you'll understand later. You, you ever seen Under Siege? It'll make sense. I dress later. up like a woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. A sexy woman. Sexy cook. We're going on without Dallas, yeah? Yeah, I think he had his time. Rest in peace, Dallas. I don't think Dallas actually died, because if he did, the game would have told you. All right. Maybe he'll just, like, rubber band pop back in or some shit. Could be. If he's dead, he's dead. Unless he just ran ahead to the next part. Like, I really don't know. You open a door, he's just standing there looking at you. Gotta bring the ruckus. Big door. When are you gonna bring the fucking ruckus? This guy's breathing nonstop. <sighs> Joseph, lever? thank you for the 31 months. And, uh, Witch, welcome back. I see this giant door. I see this. Mm. Shoot it. Poing, 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 poing. He has a handicap to? sign on his window. Well, you have to realize he's in California, and pretty much anybody can get a handicap sign if they want one. But I'm, also, the I'm reason private. why Gary Busey is the way he is, he had a traumatic motorcycle accident which damaged yeah. his head. Really sad, actually. My head. Wasn't he, like, a big proponent for, like, anti-helmet laws, and then he got in the accident, and then he was, like, very for I forget the details, but I think he had a motorcycle accident without a helmet. Mmm. Yeah. Ouch. No helmet. Ouch. The brains. Gary Busey. And then he's got a sweet set of teeth. Chompers. Huge private teeth. You can't look at my teeth. It's private. That's crazy he wasn't wearing a helmet, though. It's like people with a helmet on get fucked up in motorcycle accidents. Yeah. Now imagine without a helmet. Oof. Oof. Your precious little skull turns into mush. Where the fuck? I need to look around some more. Oh, that, that guy, guy got, that got pants. Oh, he got hooked. Oh, I thought that was his underwear. Oh, no, he got. <laughs> wait, I think I actually need to platform. No, maybe I like jump up this shit. Oh yeah, I forget you can platform. There we go. Move up. Used to play hockey with no helmets back in the day. Youch. Even riding bikes. As kids back in the day, we were too cool for helmets. You get fucked up. I don't ride a helmet while I'm riding my bike right now, just because I can't you find can't one that fits my me. gigantic. You can never catch me. Sorry, what? I mean, you got distracted by a ghost of a child. Why is there a child in prison? It's a ghost. Maybe it's the ghost of his kid that he killed. Ooh. Or he identifies as a child. <sighs> this guy allegedly killed his wife and kids you ever wonder if like when you die do you like get to choose what form you want to be in this is why i was so obsessed with the near-death experiences you know what i mean because like if i was gonna die and i had to choose what kind of ghost i'd be i'd be a child ghost because they're the scariest a casper mm. friendly you know 
do you get locked in of your form of what you die? Like when you, if you're an old person, when right. you die, are you an old angel? A lot of these people that had the near deathies that I watched, they said like you kind of just become a little orb of like you just your energy. You're just flying. Through. Oh, you're like in World of Warcraft, like a night elf. Yeah, like a lot of them said you become like a, a you feel like you're just energy able to like fly through what feels like stars or lights. Yeah. And um, everything just feels super. They all explain a very familiar feeling and insane rush of like love and happiness. Cozy. So like you're flying by other orbs and they like talk to you and you're like, yeah, this is all very familiar. Like it wasn't weird at all. And all the people who did die and have NDEs, they're like not afraid to die anymore. I kind of want to go back. It's pretty sweet. Whoa. They're like, it's actually really cool knowing we got that waiting for you. I'm like, just. Daddy, help me, Daddy. Oh, it's your son. Cousin Skeeter? <laughs> Skeeter. God, that show. Just hit that nostalgia. I he knows hate how to get that. that. Show. No, bro. Skeeter was popping off, dude. Bro, I'd be so pissed when that show came on. But you don't like Bill Bellamy? That wasn't the problem. I hated Skeeter. <laughs> Different Skeeter. <laughs> Lost Skeet back in the 90s. He knows how to get down. This guy's invisible. <laughs> Ew. Just a hunk of beef. Just a meat. A real ghost. Let me just pick up this stuff. Oh, the crapper. Oh, oh no. I shit died on the crapper. I don't know where this enemy went, but he's invisible. There we go. It's cool they did both the uh, first person and the third person is like era really useful too mm -hmm. sometimes you want to look around a little bit more mm -mm. your friend had a seizure and they saw their ho whole life flash before their eyes oh i thought you were gonna say he saw cousin skeeter yeah so you never want that you don't want to fucking terrifying die and see skeeter some people say uh, a lot of them say when they die the first thing to do is float around the room where they died whoa and that's where like I saw someone in the chat too said they were like in the EMT and they said a lot of people wake up and know a lot of weird shit that they should not know. Like your last name is this and your middle name is that. People are like, this guy's supposed to be dead for the last 10 minutes. What mm. the fuck? It's really creepy, man. That is crazy. People said they like were able to like fly around and communicate with people they knew. It's weird. Bullshit. No more prisons. Got the prayer beads. It's the next phase of the game. And I don't worry about the innocent because on Carnate, mm -hmm. none of us are without sin for long. All right. Well, it's hard to read that. That ghost. Ew. See that ghost? I want to hang out with the ghost. I want to know what a goal that. What that ghost at? Tommy gun. Well, let me try the Tommy gun. Yo, you got a new friend down there. He's saying fuck them all. Fuck them all. Oh, he's not gonna survive long. No. I don't Save even know what. Him. I don't even know what the fuck he's fighting. Oh! Oh god, that was gross. Guts. It's a big boy. The tank guy. He's got a gun on his ass. Yeah. More dudes. Yo, come on, we're busting out over here. <laughs> Over here. Uh oh, it stinks. It's the closest you've ever been to dying. Uh, I got I in a know. car accident where I spun 180 on the freeway. You cannot escape what That's I've pretty close. About. You cannot escape. Back in the sewer. Um, one time I drank a lot too much. And when I woke up, I was in my bed covered in chili. Could have choked to death. Oh, Ew. fuck. That's that was, scary. Yeah, that was really scary. I was, Drowned I as was a kid? Covered in my dinner. It was all over my... I was, I was asleep on my back, too. So it was really scary. I thought it was blood. And I was like, it's all this hard stuff on my face. So, oh, it's the chili I ate before I went out drinking. Chili was a bad choice. A lot of almost drowning as or, kids. Or it was a really good choice because he probably wouldn't have been able to throw it up so projectile-like. 
Oh, you need something thick. No, something, you know, liquidy. Viscous? Because if, if he, let's say he ate a steak, you know? Mm -hmm. I might have got caught. Mm. Could have got caught. Count your blessings, boy. Eat a bowl of chili every day. Jay Bergerman origin story. Move over there. Choked on a mozzarella stick. I can feel that. I see a lot of people probably almost died of those. Yeah, mozzarella and uh, those are pretty bad. Hot dogs, I think, are the most commonly choked on thing. Well, why are you sucking them down so hard? Well, I make sure to chew mine because I enjoy them. Oh, man. We talked about it before. How many people a year you think mozzarella take? You know, it's probably a decent amount. Yeah, it's a stream. Tommy gun's pretty sweet. Big guy. Fuck your stupid ass gun. You wouldn't swallow a whole orange? Bullshit. I believe in Bigfoot before I believe in that shit. Maybe you mean a tangerine. Maybe a tangerine. A cutie. You are mistaken. There's no way you swallowed a whole orange. Mozzarella sticks is a very dangerous food for kids. Mozzarella claims lives. Should be a PSA about it. Careful with all that cheese, man. Dude, the Tommy gun is insane. Out of ammo. Maybe that's why. Maybe I was saving it. It drops those tanks though. Yeah. I can go big. I can go big scary mode too on these guys. This guy's arguing. Just came. Shout out. Might be monster time. Grapes, big one too. Yeah, you're supposed to cut up your kids' uh, grapes. You know how people always do that, like uh, like on Futurama, the hedonism bot? Yeah. He's like laying down eating the grapes. That does not seem safe at all. Oh, yeah. One of those things is going to shoot down your throat. Throat goes. Oh, yeah, I have like ultimates I can do. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Can just do that AOE. forever? up direct and state of play tomorrow yeah buddy oh oh shit. shit shit grenade oh that was clutch oh shit fuck 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 oh the big fuck, fuck, damage fuck, fuck. ah 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 ow heal die you bastard fucking die your stupid ass gun. Don't you do it. And we got enough pills to survive this. It's going to take so a lot, though. Pills. Oh, I didn't even see no. this over here. That would have been very nice. Got to look around a little bit 180 more. ammo for the Tommy gun. I heard there's not much to expect for the state of play, but the direct could be sweet. I think the state of play is mostly going to be Spider-Man, which comes out next month. Game today. Uh, I did hear rumors that they showed off the new Switch at uh, Gamescoop behind the doors. Oh, well, those early developers probably got their whole their yeah. hands on it. Yeah. Might be real. Might be real. Oh, FF7 stuff. Yeah. Maybe. Rebirth. Maybe. That'd be pretty cool. You got drugged at a bar? That's terrifying. Yeah, Barkdole says the closest he got to dying was drugged at a bar in his 20s. Oh, man. He was just drifting in and out. Doctors oh couldn't God. get the heart rate down for 48 hours. Sorry to do that, man. Well, hey, look at you now, man. You're big and strong now. This is why you don't go to bars in general. You know, I, I realized in my 20s, bars are not fun. Um, Young man's game for you, Lou? No, I was just like, every time I go out, either somebody wants to fight, somebody's being an asshole. A lot of attitudes. And then you got to pay, like, five times as much money for a drink as you would if you just made it at home. True. Like, it's a good time to go with your buddies. Like, if you got a good group of people, you know, it's fun. But then you look but over. But imagine if you just had those same people over at your house. You'd have you, just as much fun. But then you look over and one of your boys got his shirt off and he's on the sidewalk going, what are we going to do? To another group. And you're like, 
Exactly. Machismo. What are we doing, fellas? Why is your shirt off, huh? I'm about to take my shirt off. Yo, Jake Wall, what are we going to do about this, huh? You want to do it? What are we going to do about this? Go outside. What about the babes, dude? It's so much easier to meet women on the internet at this point. Internet? Yeah. The power of the internet. You can Absolute just 3D shit. print a woman. <laughs> I pre 3D printed this gun. It's amazing things you can Whoa, do. Whoa, is that the scout gun? It's an engineer's gun. Engineer, since you're down. That is really cool. Why go outside when you Wait, can... Wait, is this from your 3D printer? 3D print? No, but I want to figure see. out how. Yeah. I would love to. I just don't have that time. That is so sick. Who sent this? Lenny Peps? Uh, Etsy. Oh, wow. It feels so good in the hand, doesn't too. it? Get back, damn you! Get away! Die! Nice. Die! You wouldn't download a girlfriend. More box, 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 box. Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, this is a cool little cutscenes, man. Yeah, on the bar. <laughs> yeah. See, you getting impaled on barbed wire oh, like shit. that. Oh, shit. You guys jumping over? Let's go. Maybe Razor Bear. Oh, the jumping. Oh, You're damn. Drinking random beers in Mexico and got drugged? Well, don't do that. Random beers in Mexico? I think that guy dropped a shotgun. Dude. Shotgun time. Let me just stay alive real quick. Where is it? I do not know. I don't see a shoddy. Might be on the other side of the fence, maybe? Let's go crazy on him. Yeah, I wouldn't go around drinking any random liquids, really. That's just a life advice. Bitch ass is late. Let me chop him up. Anyone else? That's it. Yeah, stay on the resort. No need to go out there drinking liquids on the streets. Open your own drinks. But this guy offered me a free Michelada. Oh boy. Fuck around and get a near death experience. <laughs> Don't take it from an alien either. Try this Michelada. Hey, bro. Try this. I can sleep when I'm dead. Yo, Pooh, how you doing, man? Nice to see you, dude. Mm. We whispered staggering suicide rate, which is the highest of any prison in America. Jesus. It's all those razors and pills. I've been doing drugs, yeah. Drugs, yeah. Pills over here. Smoking my life away. Doing dope. Don't miss it up. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. What the fuck? Save. See White, welcome back, dude. Democracy. Democracy. <laughs> the creatures are outside the door. I, I can hear them scrape against it. They'll get through soon enough. Get through soon enough. While, while I wait. Wait to die. I just these are my Why memoirs. They were listening. I've been looking for some answer. What's going on? Well, there isn't any. There's, there's no answer. Oh there's God. No it's just what it is. Oh, God. This is fucked up, man. Yeah, when this game came out, this is where it got really it. twisted. Oh, Back in man. the day, this is fucked. That's up. dark, man. Look at his guts. See his little his hand. Guts. Shoot his tibia. Shoot his fucking belt. See if anything pinata falls out. Poing! <laughs> I hear a lot of people. God! Grab a hunk of that roast beef. What are y'all shooting at? More monsters? Everywhere. There's monsters everywhere. He runs straight towards them. Pretty brave. Succulent Chinese meal. Oop. Democracy manifest. I'm gonna check this way too. You know your judo well. This game holds up pretty well. It's pretty yeah, good. The pacing in it's really good, man. I mean, we are upscaling it, so we're definitely trying to do more justice for it. Ah! 
Definitely a sleeper hit. I never heard of this game. I remember hearing about it from my cousin. He was like, dude, I just went to this game and the guy's like in jail and he starts seeing all this shit and all these monsters come after you. It's crazy. Good dodge. Shit, something behind me. It's like a more action-y Silent Hill. Oh, fuck. It's a big boy. Going big. Big mode. That was all I had in me, you know? Nice. I love that even the gigantic ones just die instantly. Little baby ones. It's a cool idea for a horror game. Like, switch it up once in a while and you become the monster. It's like a little change of pace. Yeah. Blue they question. will fear me. Who is the coolest cousin? Pops, I don't want you to be offended, but Justin is on a Nas album. Uh, that's, uh, I think the safe answer is Justin. I mean, he's on a Nas album. Like, what do you, can't argue that. Well, God damn it. <laughs> can't get any cool. Crash the game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I am on a Nas album. It's <laughs> pretty true, man. He is Djibouti Dubs, after all. I think Nas is actually dropping another album tomorrow. That guy doesn't really? play. Yeah, I think it's Magic 3. Wow. He's dropped, like, so many albums in the last, like, two years. That guy works hard. Works fast. Crazy. G4. MTV. Yeah, that's all cool, but not as cool as being on a fucking Nas album. They're up there. Good thing I saved, like, right here, too. War and Peace, welcome back with the 38 months. G4 was the cooler one because I actually got to go to their studio instead of them just going to my house. Did you meet Kevin Pereira? No, the other guy. Hardwick. Chris Hardwick. <gasps> From Terminator 3? Y yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pops is the butt guy. But Pops that's is right. the butt guy. He got that finger too, Lou. Dude, that's true, man. He got that finger. I've never seen a dude take alien goo like Pops. True. It's pretty cool. Uh, and All right, you guys are tied. Man. You know, it's a tie. I can't choose. Louis in a Domino's commercial, so I can't. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> dude, it is fucking pizza, man. Max Rama. 10 gifted subs to the community. Thank you so much, dude. Hooking up the lurks with some subs. Love to see it, man. Thank you. Justin, did you feed Olivia Munn a hot dog? No, it was um, Chris Hardwick and another lady. Sarah Underwood? She was... The blonde lady of G4 might have been there instead. No, it's an author. Uh. Sarah something, G4. Sarah something. Sarah G4. Yo, Pax Arama, what up, dude? Thank you for the 10 gift yeah, too. Sarah Jesus, Underwood. Man. Thank you, Pax. Thank you. Sarah Jean Underwood says chat. They know her. What's that sound? What's going on? Let this lady? Did you see that? Yes. What was that? See I remember her. She was a G4 girl. Whoa, slow mo. Fucking thanks, man. We owe you. You got it, guys. Don't hang yourself. Hope you guys survive. Grab a weapon or some shit. You know what my favorite show on G4 was? And people are going to say I'm stupid for liking picture? this. The show Code Monkeys. Yeah, that was a pixel art oh, show, yeah, right? Yeah, I absolutely right. love that show. Pixel art. Is Joe Byron? Who's this guy? Who's this? Who's this guy? I planned. I planned out the prison. Why is it a random jump scare when you look at his picture? <laughs> look That's at what happens to me. Look at me long enough, and you'll freak out too. I wish there was more episodes of Code Monkeys, dude. That fucking show was awesome. Code Monkeys. That was a. Uh, Code monkey like Fritos. 
What? Yeah. Code monkey like tab and Mountain Dew. It was an awful you know, theme, theme song. song huh? It was, dude. I've seen every episode. Nice. There's Good two monkeys. seasons. Scared the fuck out of me. Bang! 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 Burn hole. Flashbang kind of sucks. I like the little baby noises. Got your asses. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here before it crashes the game again. Stripping Oh shit. Oh, he's jacking him off. <laughs> oh yeah, let me jerk you off. I'm out of here. <laughs> Got his ass. Damn, they hung you in the most random spot. There's like not even anything to hang you off of. Do you remember video power? I don't think I do. I just remember the main stuff from uh, G4, like X Play and Attack of the Show. What is video Code power? Code Monkeys. They would play Cheaters a lot. Oh Come shit! Come on! Don't you want to talk to me? It's my wife. T, over here. Oh. What? I'm filing for divorce. Oh! You can't be a father in jail. I can't bring Corey here to visit you. Or the new one. It's better if they just forget for now. Oh, oh yeah, because he, he killed his ex-wife. Yeah. I hope you've forgiven me, T. No. Things might be different if I had been able to hang on. Uh-oh, enemy. Uh, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone, dude. They got three hits on it. And pop off! They all dead? Save the monsterism for later. Monster juice. An ex-wife, the scariest thing of all. Bang, 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 bang. He's twerking on the wall! Oh my god, so gross. He has no head. Woo! Jesus. That was scary. Huh? Flash bang out. Fire in the hole. I'm here for the alimony. It's over, T. Pay up, bitch. Time to pay the fuck up. I'm tired of sending you commissary. I ain't doing no visitation. All your hot Cheetos and Top Ramen got fuck. me going into debt. Fuck you and your visitation. I see a glimmer of hope for you yet. A it's means a doctor. of escape out from the black pit that continually sucks you in. Whoa. Yes, show me how you work when the answer is not so direct. Okay. I don't look like that guy. You hitting me with a puzzle, or what are we doing here? Let me get a cream soda. Oh, we're doing this shit. I was just fucking around. Well, I didn't even know you could do that. That's yeah. pretty cool. You want me to, like, do some platforming, or... Is that just like, welcome to this part of the game where it's kind of puzzly now. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? There's no way out there. You could go this way, but it's covered in fire. So let's grab this, because we can. And, and you can jump yank it on top of that and scale something. What do I put over this vent? Isn't there like a vent here? It just looks like it wants something there. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't fit perfectly. It just looks, well, that's pretty does. perfect. I don't know why. There's it's just video game logic makes me feel like, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Skylight, maybe? Throw soda on the fire. <laughs> yeah, can I? Can I grab everything in this game? I don't even know how much uh, stuff I can grab. Let's see, uh, jumping. Let's see, where are we jumping to? Mm. Skylight. Another soda machine. It's kind of in the fire, though. Can I grab it? Is it hot? This one's not too hot. But why, though? Hmm. Sprinkler is it access. Backtrack? The fuck is going on in that room? Bunch of stuff. 
And then what's through this door? What if I put the cream sodas... In the fire? In the fire. Don't what stop them, right? What does that do? Can't go sideways. Gotta push or pull only. Should be good. Maybe you could lay it down on top of the fire. Yeah, let's see. You know, you put a soda machine on top of fire, it puts it out, right? Ow, 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 ow. Stop, drop, and roll. I don't think I... Hmm. Can I... Well, shoot the sprinkler mechanism? Oh. Yeah, I probably have to shoot something up. There's no way that's all you had to do. All right. So what if I shoot the bottom of it? That'll do it, right? Wise guy, eh? Do you have to shoot the, the, the barricaded stuff? Shoot the soda. <laughs> <laughs> like a John Wayne movie. Um, so a little bit the of steam. The other door. Shoot. A little bit of steam comes out. Is there anything you can shoot what if through? I monster slash the door? Maybe. Yeah. Yo. Oh, oh, too bad. That's a strong box. There we go. There it is. When in doubt, monster out. Oh, it blew his head oh off. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It says, if there is a god, then why has he let me die? Well, you did that yourself, buddy. Yeah, don't play yeah. God for that. You didn't even yeah. try to fight it out. How do you Come know on, what you would have would have happened to you? You're the one that wrote that. Sprinklers. In case anyone's wondering. Frank it. Dude, when you think about it, nobody got through that barricade. So he could have literally survived until you came right now and you could have saved him. True, dude. So that's his own fault. He just waited a little bit. Uh -oh. oh, I forgot these. Oh, one shot kill and the shoddy. Shotgun's Let's good. Fucking go. Chris, you like our MGS4 playthrough? Thank you so much. It was fun. Dude, the end of that game was confusing. A lot of lore. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Such a cool game, though, man. It's so cool. You can go outside now. That game is meant to be played over, though. Like. They kind of give you a bunch of New Game Plus stuff, and and they wanted you to go online. I think I liked my uh, non-lethal playthrough more than I my, my first playthrough. Yeah, non-lethal is a lot of fun in that one. The Trank does work. And the Trank shotgun? What? Or the Trank uh, sniper. sniper rifle. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm shotgunning people that'd be crazy just shotgun people <laughs> there might be a there might be a stun shotgun i think in that game <laughs> a fucking shotgun of tranks is so excessive okay just a ton of needles just come out. catch five needles to the chest at once i hear something chirping at me oh my god that was actually scary but <sighs> Ass motherfucker. That's for Dallas. Trank Buckshot. <laughs> Never played MGS, just not for you. Yeah, I get it. It's a little. It's anime, you know? And it's a stealth game, too. Shut up, Dr. Evil. <laughs> Looks like that Nazi guy from. Indiana Jones. Yeah. yeah. Hail, his face melts on. Hail Hydra vibes off of this guy for sure. This guy whispers Hail Hydra to people. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. <laughs> 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 he turned to poop. <laughs> you poop now. Shut up. You poop now. Oh, melatonin buckshot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Right in your mouth. Go to sleep. Ooh, a movie projector. I think I have to. Whoa! I can use that. Oh, it's the sound of the door not working. I think the button was supposed to be open, right? 
could go through. Yo, Coda, happy to be here. Thanks for the laughs. Thanks for being here, man. Dakota, it's how a you huge, doing? huge day, you know. Talking about Mexican alien life forms, big things. The pictures on. were pretty crazy, if real. But I mean, wasn't it at like a government like thing? It was at a government thing, but not done by government people. I don't even think they had to take an oath. Shit, I should have actually kept this closed. Well, here they all come. Let them all in. Oh, he's pooped now. Wait a minute. Okay. It's this way I was going. Oh, it's just another monster thing. Bones ringing. Who's that? Yeah, I'm busy. Oh. And another. Thing. Who's running around out there? Whoa, shit. I saved his life. Nah. Dude, I shot the thing right in time. He was too far gone, Joe. Look at him. He's like a Halloween fucking prop. He climbs. I like how he climbs himself back up. Get Tommy gun. These things still look pretty freaky in the dark. Come out of nowhere. Yeah, you son of a bitch! We've been trying to warn you about your car's extended warranty. Now I'm busy. What does the diff button do? Push all these buttons. Is. Oh, uh, that's a cool room. Ooh. Go down here. What, what about this hallway over here? I'm all out of flashlight, too, so I think I should have been conserving it, but I did not. Big guy. I see you. Ooh, he's big. You can't hide from me. Wiggle. Got him. Whee. Got him. This game made you quit back in the day. Too scary, huh? Pretty Too scary game. Spooky, dude. You're like, I ran out of uh, flashlight. I'm taking the game back to Blockbuster and demanding a refund. <laughs> uh, speaking of scary, there was big uh, updates to Phasmophobia. Yeah? Yeah, like, like completely like, changed like game mechanics. Adult. Adult. Yeah, that's where my mind goes, is just saying adult over and over. Adult. Hey, how old are you? Adult. Adult. Are you friendly? Adult. 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 Yeah, it would have been way cooler if it was, like, more interactive, right? It just feels like one of those games that would... Ah, oh, it would... It would do so well if you could, like, have full conversations. Like, tons of um, responses pre-recorded. Get an AI ghost in there. You don't even really need, like, a good voice actor. Just get somebody to read a ton of lines. Put it in the game. I mean, any voice coming out of that, like, spirit box just sounds legit. Yeah. Talking creepy. I smell... I can smell you. I smell like Domino's pizza. <laughs> oh, shit. Ew. Fucker. Creepy. Fuck. Okay, it's hard with first person with no flashlight. Needs more enemy variety in this game. Yeah. Got this. Stinky. Good place to recommend Halloween movies. Lost Boys and Pet Cemetery. I have both those on a list. 
Those, yeah, those ones I think we've got a lot of. Request Pet Cemetery for. has the best credit song. It's by the Ramones, and it's a song called Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery is the one where you don't go down that road, right? Yeah. Yo, Anonymous, thank you for grabbing your tea, dude. You don't get back what you put in. Close Encounters. I watched that one not too long ago, uh, earlier this year. Close it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's the Spielberg. Oh Alien yeah, movie. I don't. I haven't seen that movie in forever. It's kind of a long, yeah, slow a one movie. though. I would say. I don't know if a commentary would be the best for that one. E. T. was fucking hilarious though. Holy shit. One of our best. E. T. If you guys never watched our E. T. Just a little bit of alien blood. <laughs> Crazy ET's real man. Um, uh, if you want to recommend places, uh, either the Patreon or the Discord. So now that we think aliens are like real, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we 100%. believe Travis Barker? Travis, the drummer of, or not Travis Barker? <laughs> um, the drummer, the of other uh, guy, fucking Blink One Eighty Two. I don't know. What's he... the guy's name? The guitar guy. What's he all going on about? Big Tom DeLong. That's the one. Tom DeLong. He's no, Travis Barker's think... into the moon landing conspiracy. He'll Why? just he'll be able to say he's right though. Which he already did, right? There's already that clip of him. Like performing. I was right! I was right about the aliens who abducted me in for, for, for China, Brazil. I mean, but you could just claim like you like you're right and you don't have to have any proof. Where are the aliens? Down in Mexico. And I'm hanging out with the aliens. We're drinking some Coronas. Ah! Oh, oh. It's gonna suck on me. Shit, I'm hanging out with the aliens. The Jedi would take you lie. <laughs> Travis Walt, <laughs> Bob Lazar. They're gonna tell me I why. I won't let you do it again. I won't let you do it again. Travis Barker married a Kardashian. That's right. Yeah. Courtney. Think he has a smooth brain? Well, the it's only, a lot of money. The only normal now Kardashian, the money. it seems to me. Suck me I dry. Don't know. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. That's what he said to Courtney when he first met her. Flashlight batteries. Yo, what is flashlight button? That would be nice to know. If I could preserve it. Try looking it up. It's D-pad? Uh, oh, maybe it is D-pad, yeah. Yeah, I cool. just had to D-pad it. Now you got the Ramon stuck in your head? That's a good thing. The Ramon? How the does the Ramones? movie commentaries work? So basically, we, we provide you with our movie commentary, and you provide your copy of the movie. You sync it up through the intro, and then you get to experience the movie with us. We tell you what screen to press play. If you ever want a, a, like a test run, there's uh, movie commentaries on our YouTube channel for free. You, can look, you, you just got to find your own copy of the movie. Uh, oh. We cannot provide that because it's a copyright infringement. Freak out! How many Friday uh, the 13th movies have you seen? Three. Oh, dude, you're about to get into all the good ones. That's right. Um, and I was thinking about which uh, Nightmare on Elm Street we left off on. And I think we left off on Dream Warriors. Three, where they go to the, the Kid of Sail Asylum. Yeah, yeah, book. yeah. Dream Warriors. Which I would like to do another Nightmare and another Friday. Because we yeah. can get Jason to hell. I've never seen that. I've always wanted to see it. I've seen all the Jason movies. My favorite one is Jason Takes Manhattan. Yeah, we need to move those series forward. Also, Hellraiser. I saw a few people say Hellraiser. The Pinhead. trailer for Hellraiser looks... I've never seen it, but the trailer looks cool. It's got a lot of, like, cool-looking practicals. With, You've like, never seen Hellraiser? No. We didn't do that on nope, here? We have no. no. Oh, dude, it's fucking weird. It has yeah. a really weird look to the trailer. I believe that's Clive Baker. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to say anything, but... I rewatched the re, re uh, remake... Um, not too recently. These gunshots are just getting fucking insane. A lot of uh, crazy visuals in Hellraiser. 
Yeah, that's like the reason to watch is what the trailer makes it look like. It's like, whoa, there's just so much practicals and like cool looking like guy just made of blood. Yeah, it's a lot of like, what the fuck am I looking at? Like this type of stuff. Yeah, a lot of this type of stuff. Yeah. One thing I didn't expect out of Hellraiser is how sexual it is. It's okay. Yeah, it definitely has uh, disturbing tones that blur the lines of violence and sexuality. Yeah, it's really fucking It's a very uh, common theme in Clyde Baker. Speaking of sexual violence, Robaz! Robaz! What up, Rob? What's going on, uh, Robaz? Playing a classic PlayStation 2 game, The Suffering. Going down memory lane right now. Playing a game we actually never played, but was highly recommended, and this game is a fucking trip, dude. It's a banger. Still holds up pretty well, too. Like, the pacing of this game, a little repetitive on the enemies, but at least the shooting is decent. It's got that PS2-era charm about everything, where everything's big, blocky polygons. <laughs> the just, voice uh, acting's crazy. I just love that. Anytime I get kind of bored, like I've been killing these enemies the same, I just switch to third person, and now it's a different video game. Yeah. I'm just like, you know I'll what? I'll never forgive you. i never forgive you. Bitch, I don't want you. Oh, it's the son. Oh, it's your cousin son. Skeeter. Don't call him a bitch. Uh -huh. Jeez. Hey, Dad, up here. I'm never forgive you. You would get so mad at us, and then you couldn't even remember. I never understood how you could forget. How could you forget? <laughs> Fuck you, Daddy. Fuck you. i never forgive you, Daddy. I'm cousin Skeeter. <laughs> So this game, basically, you're a prison inmate yep. who did something real bad to convicted your family of murdering, or something. Convicted of murdering his ex-wife and child. And he doesn't remember it. And we can turn into a monster and we lose our sense of reality. And then a bunch of monsters start taking over the prison and you're just trying to get out. you trying to get out. While you're also losing your mind. Yeah, it's kind of doing this midways version of uh, oh, Silent Hill. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, we're just talking about which movies we should uh, watch for Halloween. I, w I really, really want to watch Cabin in the Woods. I've never seen yeah, it. I've just I've heard seen it. bad, bad things about it. I think it's good, actually. Um, it's good in a, in a oh. campy way. Oh, I was thinking of Cabin Fever. Now, that's the one where the dude uh, tries to put his fingers on that lady. Yeah. Mm. Cabin in the Woods, I heard, is really good. I was yeah. thinking of Cabin Fever. Creep Show? We did Creep. We did Creep Show. Creep Show 1. There's a Creep Show 2. It might be a 3, for all I know. Cabin in the Woods is fun. It's not what you expect it's going to be. I oh. think that's kind of the fun of it. Creep Show was um, uh, that... Ted dancing on the beach, right? Yes. <laughs> And uh, Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> yeah. Have you watched that Snoop Dogg movie, Bones? Bones? No. no. Oh, we should watch that. I don't even know what that is. Type in Snoop Dogg Bones. Expecting a lot of good stuff on our Halloween. We're gearing up for our Halloween special, man. We're, we're going to be making a movie. A little short film for everybody. It'll probably be... We'll, usually we do the countdown for our Halloween stream. And then, you know, it kind of happens. Then we premiere it later. We're thinking about the first thing you'll see after the countdown, will just be our short film we're filming. We just want people to see it as soon as it starts. It's going to be a lot of fun, dude. <laughs> Bone <laughs> with Snoop D -O double G. Scary Snoop. <laughs> I've me never I'm seen it. I just remember always seeing it at Blockbuster and be like, is that Snoop Dogg? That's fucking awesome. Why does he look like Shang Tsung? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like that guy in The Simpsons. Your uh, soul is mine. Or the guy that sells gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a mummy, yeah. Yeah, bones look safe. Everything beautiful is gone. I showed uh, Jeremy the thing for the first time. Oh, like that's last graphic. Week. Yeah, because he wants to go to Halloween Horror Nights. Ooh, ooh. I was yeah. like, Yo, oh, if you, you want to go got... to that, you got to watch the thing. You know, they got um, Last of Us at Halloween Horror Universal, Nights. yeah. And they got Five Nights at Freddy's, really? which is Ooh. why Jeremy wants to go. Nice. I saw the clip of, like, the Ellie and Joel, like, practicing their lines for Universal. I'm like, that's funny, dude. You got to be there all night reciting 
Ellie's joke book <laughs> to people as they walk by. Ghost. Stinky, stinky ghost man. Playing a piano? Dude, ghosts love fucking around with pianos, man. Yo, fuck ghosts. They're not even, like, playing the keys. They're just sticking their fingers on the strings on the inside. Fuck it, I'd do it if I was a ghost. Fucking touching your keyboard. Rubbing fucking my, up the tuning on your grand piano. Rubbing my spectral hands all over your piano. Ouch. This, Ow, this hot. I think you're a oh, little stink. indecisive. Oh, he's if you're going me. to do something, do it completely. That's the carnate way. Carnate what the fuck? Way. Carnate way. Oh, God, you smell like you don't make decisions. Oh. Why don't you start fucking making decisions? Just make it. You keep saying you're gonna do it. Could but still let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. God, it's so stinky in that room. Get that perma ghost stank. That's the card I want. <laughs> Sound like gold dust for a minute? Yeah. Gold dust. Dusty roads, brother. Platforming, here we go. Got it. Easy. Hey. Oh. Friendly. <laughs> Am I that ugly? <laughs> really? I mean, Am I that ugly? Covered in blood, to be fair. Jeez. <laughs> Finally, another. Another human. No, no, no. Where did he? Oh, there he goes. Where are you going? That My man, come back. Help! Oh, the game's giving us choice now. We got a new friend. Dude, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. We could be friends. You just gotta... You just gotta chill out, dude. You could be the new Dallas. Blood! You're not a monster. You're not gonna k k kill me. He pissed. What, what a relief. I've been running so long. Oh. I don't know. Cool. I never believed it, but I think my mama was right. This is God's hand on his judgment, dick. and we come up short. Look, I may be a CO, but believe me, I always thought I had more in common with the inmates than the gung-ho CEOs that really? got weird at it. <laughs> You'd relate more to the murderer? <laughs> so this is the now, game the letting you have I choice. Have is that we got a call for help. Somebody has to be able to help us. C Come on, we need to get to He's the radio cool. building. We can call from there. Y you keep me safe? Let's go. And save, because he's probably gonna die, not by me, but by someone or something soon. Also, same voice actor as Dallas. For help. Come on. You gotta bring the ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> American on, prison. Way. Hey, I had a, I had a friend who talked just like that. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> Oh, they don't oh. like the light. Cool. I just guess. I guess it looks safe now. C come on, this this way. Yeah, just stay in the light. <laughs> he screams so good. You cannot <laughs> hold me, American prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, okay. I guess it looks safe now. C come on, this. Also, usually on Halloween, we get into like at least a derpy movie, one or two. You We're know, we've done like him. Troll, yeah. Troll 2. It was Critters, I think, was one that we might do. Uh, Critters just went up on like, yeah. uh, like, to uh, to Amazon break. Prime. We gotta get into the yard. Uh, but, but hell, the, the, there's no way out it's of this tower. Cool. It's like a pit to hell. Was, Let me just blast that pit to hell. I'll stop them from spawning, huh? This is cool, man. Trying to avoid uh, microwave massacres and stuff like that, but like troll twos of the world are definitely on the on the docket. You know what the I love magic troll hour two, is? Man. It's when the sun's over the horizon, but, but it's still light out. Some folks call it twilight. But Have I we done any of the Halloween movies? But on Carnet, no. Uh, it, it we should, right but no, no I kind of want to pick a more no modern Halloween. Like, like yeah, Halloween H two O. I feel like is where we should start. I kind of agree with you, actually, because that's when it starts to get just derpy and stupid as hell. Because I think Halloween one, the original, it's is really too good. Slow and it's probably very slow. Probably dated in a lot of ways. Or Rob Zombies. 
Rob Zombies is pretty good. I, I personally, I love the original Halloween, but I can see why you would say it's slow. There's not, there's like a lot of scenes where it's just, you know, 70s movie, you know. Can I burn these? Mama, from far away? why did I listen to you? You told me no man should make his living locking up other men like animals. Guys talking about his mama. You knew. Why did I listen? Should have listened to his mama. Oh, there we go. Nice. Good, good call. When we did doubt. the first tremors, right? Shoot it out. Yes. We yeah, we done did two. Tremor. Yeah, tremor one. There's tremors two, and I think there's like seven of them or something. Like twelve of them. Yeah. They all went to VHS. Yeah, a club. Run, Malcolm. Run. You're up, oh, I don't want to. Corey always ball. wanted to play with his father. Play ball with but where were you? Oh no. And now they down in the pits of hell. Jump Bye, in. baby. I'll save. And then what we'll jump in. What are you supposed in. to do when you're in a night? Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Oh god. You're wondering. What are you supposed to do when you're in a nightmare? Keep them in the light. Like Damn. The Good call on that light. Everything beautiful is gone. Just keep them in the light. Look at this. Fuck you. Oh, big boy. Chase me, chase me. I don't know if these guys will. Have you done the Wicker Man? Yes, we have. You got Tommy gun ago. ammo. I can run faster than their bullets. Yeah, maybe I should Tommy gun it. There we go. Poing, 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 poing. We've done power in the sky. Yep. My mom always said God was gonna judge us someday. I saw a uh, communion. Down from above. Is just like on YouTube. Fire, but I That's sure um. It'd be much better than this. What's his name? Christopher Walken, alien abduction. Has anyone seen Communion? Is that one any good? When I see a full movie sitting on YouTube, I'm usually like, it's probably a reason for that. It's probably ass. You know a movie I've wanted to see that's a horror movie and I never saw it? Tusk. Tusk. Uh, Kevin Justin Smith. Long. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. I've heard it's good. His take on like human centipede. Yeah, it's like a weird, weird out kind of movie. Saw a few people say it was good. Uh, Communion saying, saying it was good. Tusk is more, it's hilarious. I remember watching fucking the ass faced ass to mouth movie. Human centipede. Human centipede. I've never seen it. No. I watched it at work. I was working at a print shop and people came by like, why a long face? It's like, I just feel sick. They're like, why? I was watching that centipede movie everyone's talking about they're like oh yeah i'm like i just feel sick <laughs> I, just, I just feel like i'm watching people eat shit <laughs> I yeah. like and the, it's just making, it's making me yeah. feel really gross yeah i like the south park episode where kyle's the middle of the, the cuttlefish the cuttlefish <laughs> it's gonna be all right <laughs> should i eat the wheat paste or the cuttlefish <laughs> <laughs> Should have read those terms of services, dude. Oh, man. I don't know what that, who, who that movie studio was. Like, they made Human Centipede and Bounce and never tried to make any other follow up gross outs. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Use directional to pick an item. All right. I think it just broke on me. Let me Bricked. load. Safe right there too. Some of those inventory items are kind of buggy. If you guys watch Maniac Cop, that's one we've got a lot of recommendations. We're gonna for. do that one for sure. I think that one's guaranteed this that year. That one's a lock. Big shotgun. Freddy versus Jasons. We haven't gotten to those yet because we're still running through the actual installments. Yeah. Freddy so. versus Jasons, great. I can't wait to do those. I want more Freddy. I, I I never saw Freddy movies growing up, and we just saw the third one, the Dream Warriors. That one's really really good. Yeah, the Freddy movies are always so fun, man. They kill it with the practicals. And yeah. The whole he's in your dreams thing is just so good. You can do so much with that. Yeah. It sucks that they try to like do a new Freddy and it just didn't do well at all. That Rorschach guy was in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Because Freddy seems like, man, you could just keep that going and going and going. You, uh, being able to do dreams lets it be endless possibilities. Yeah, but nobody can play Freddy besides Robert England. He I mean, is. someone can do no, something. No, Justin, he is Freddy. But he don't want. He's old, right? He don't want to do it he's anymore. He's done. Yeah. Blood Diner looks cool. I'll put this on a list. Blood Diner. This movie looks tight. I mean, after Reanimator, we just love some practicals. We were talking about some year in the future. It'd be cool to do our Halloween special with a lot of cool practical effects. It's just such a different ball game once you're doing that shit, because you're like, got to build some kind of thing. You got to build something that'll squirt blood on cue or something, shit like that. It just looks so much better. Where the fuck am I supposed to go here? I wouldn't mind watching Evil Dead 2. I think that's a that's a given too. Yeah. Am I jumping over there? Yeah, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Freddy is also in one of my favorite Halloween songs. What? The Nightmare on My Street. Oh God, dude, it's so good. It's the best Halloween song. I like the I think the beat on that one's pretty good though. It's so good. It's literally just uh, sampled from the Nightmare on Elm Street soundtrack. But they add their own bass line. Yeah. I am fucking clueless on where to go. Um, check out, um, Is it this room? No. Maybe it's jump. When in doubt, what have we done? We've shot stuff. Maybe there's some video game thing I'm not shooting. DMX did a cover of that? You're fucking kidding me. How have I never heard that? Really? I gotta check that out after with work. that With that beat? I'm supposed to just shoot something. Usually, this game wants me to shoot something. It's like, I can go up this ladder. Turn in the radio? Tune it in? That's what I thought. I pressed X on it. it didn't do anything. Is it the walkie-talkie? That's what I thought. Maybe I'm not standing in the sweet spot. What items do I have? What's the urgent note? Urgent note. Radio is working, but can, uh, can't contact the mainland. There's some kind of interference it's bizarre seems it's coming from the west must be the asylum someone else needs to go there and fix it have to go through the quarry i ain't doing that i ain't that crazy Sentry hmm. down uh, well there's a ladder here so they wouldn't just put this here for no reason i think it's a jump from the roof i think i think you can make it dude yep was I not able to get over here? I don't think so. Oh, okay. This is new. Yeah, this is new. Uh, Zach boy with the 10 months. Uh, NASA about to drop some UAP info. About to drop a UAP mixtape tomorrow. Dude, straight fire. A lot of alien shit going down. With the Yo. feature from Bob Lazar, dude. You hear that shit? <laughs> Yo. They asked that new whistleblower about Bob. He's like, yeah. what do you think? He's like, I don't know. Like, don't know that guy. Don't oh. know anything about him. Is there ever going to be the vindication of Bob Lazar? That's Bob what he's Lazar, saying. Bob take Lazar. Me far. He's saying, come on, guys. You can believe me now, right? Mexico. I love this low poly desk. Everything's so clunky, blurry. Bob Lazar? No! Whoa. Come on, man. System Shock. Yeah, I heard that remake was pretty good. I have not checked it out myself. Oh my god, jump scary. Going up. Oh, the monsters jump down, I go up. Bye. Now what, bitch asses? <laughs> oh, they don't have fuck. hands. Oh no! Shit. Fuckers. Boom! Here comes the boom! Ready or not! Boom! Did what you guys hear about the... There's like some town in like the middle of somewhere. I don't remember. 
or like there's a bunch of aliens reported there and they're like their shadows are silver and they're like unkillable by bullets they're about skinwalker no like it was recent like i saw a report on like uh well, it looked like a news report. I've I don't heard, know if it was real. I've heard of the Skinwalker Ranch stuff, but not anything else. It was crazy. Flagstaff, Arizona. No, it was in like South America or something like that, or Mexico. And the, guy was, the guy was talking about how like they try to shoot him and it just does nothing. <laughs> and he's like trying to get the government to help them and nothing was, nobody was coming. Hmm. I didn't hear about that one. Peru has seven foot aliens. Whoa. Peru is popping off with something. I don't know what the fuck was going on though. I was trying to follow that story and then people said it was fake and it was just like Peruvian gangsters trying to scare people. That's a good way to get people away from your cocaine uh, the cartel. factory. Welcome to Maryland. Oh, it's scary. Welcome to the fucking cemetery. Yeah, but as many people as you scare off, there's going to be just as many that you intrigue. I want to investigate, you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll fuck around, they'll find out. I didn't see like a boss fight. We're tripping the fuck out now. Yo, know, why is there electricity coming out of this? Someone's up. And they got claws. Happy, happy, happy. So uh oh dad was never there oh daddy the wasn't there to Damn. take me to, to the fair children. this was your life t <gasps> how did you let it get away no Bro. No, she's a rap <laughs> daddy wasn't there take me to the fair change my underwear Shame she doesn't care <laughs> 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 Dynamite TNT. Nice. nice. I'll blow this up, maybe. Blow up a garage door. Sure. Kind of telling you, right? That's what it seems like. TNT stick. Okay. We just huzzah. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, bounce crap. back. I think this is just a weapon. I guess you're right. We need another awesome powers. You're not wrong. Did you see his new thing he did, though? The Pentaver? I didn't see any of it. But uh, you know what I did see? The Super Bowl uh, commercial with Austin Powers, and it made uh, me hype. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, he could be a Doritos commercial. I think that's fair. I wasn't super into that Pentaver. Well, I'm just saying he's trying to get away from Austin Powers if he went back to it. I think they wanted to. begged me to give him a weapon to defend himself. Can you believe those balls? Safe. I let some of mine out right after the quake. Then one cocksucker tried to shiv me. Whoa! So thanks. Typical. Austin Powers doesn't age Wasn't well, dude. Sense. They're hilarious. How old are you? I love place. them, dude. They're still fucking hilarious. The only one I don't like is Gold Member. Dude, wa two are great. watch Austin Powers now. I, I watched them like last year or whatever. I had a great time. I thought they were awesome. That's right. I got shit down by this punk just last Especially week. if it's been a long Fuck, time since you've worst. seen it, dude. It it's hits. It hits there. right. It's Maybe so it's so good. I was idea. I remember watching it laughing hard. You go, holy no, fuck, I forgot just, just how we funny this out. shit was with their practical effects and their gags. It was so good. Man. Scott was the best character, CEO's not even close. I mean, that's true. Enough. He's the only person I could relate to in the whole movie. Scatty doo. Dr. Evil's pretty fucking good. Yeah. yeah. You can't relate to Dr. Evil. No, I don't think you're supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Damn, he blasts his head off. Headshot, baby. Headshot. Whoa, what? Headshot, you got back baby. Up. Oh, no, our heads are falling off. Our guards' heads are... Why don't you go for them? Our guards' heads are falling off. Yeah, that's what I worry about. You know, it's like, oh, I want another Dumb and Dumber, and then they make another one. They like, make two sequels, and you're like, why, God? Why yeah, have they done this to me? That's pretty bad. I haven't seen the newest Dumb and Dumber sequel, the one with, like, actual Jim Carrey Don't. in it. Don't um, do it. Don't. But the, the really bad one from the 2000s, the Dumb and Dumber-er. Yeah. I actually thought Dumb and Dumber-er is a better movie than the... Jim uh -oh. Carrey sequel. Really? Oh yeah. boy, that's yeah. bad. Yeah. 
That's really bad. The only part that oh. made me really laugh at Dumb and Dumber is when he has the melted chocolate bar in the bathroom and uh, Bob Saget walks in after he leaves. Shit. Yeah. Everywhere. That fucking killed me the first time I saw it. After that, I mean, it's like, you already know the joke. Shut your mouth. I, are you, so you're standing up for Dumb and Dumber 2, er? Dumb and Dumb. Ugh. There's Dumb and dumber and Dumb and Dumber 2. Ugh. All right. Hey, have fun watching it. The movie sucks. I love Dumb and Dumber. The first one is one of my, it's probably my top five movies all time. Easily. Amazing movie, yeah. Easily. But I can't, I don't think I've ever seen the sequel. I just couldn't take my, bring myself to it because I just know it's not going to live up to it. it but I should so watch bad. I should watch it just to see. You never it. saw Dumb and Dumber Er? I saw that. Yeah. But I didn't see Dumb and Dumber 2. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. Yeah. We should watch it together on the Ah yeah. I just know the cry. trailer. The trailer had him with like the catheter. Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. even see the trailer. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, it was like the catheter and he's yeah, tied to it. Tethered That's to the it. best bit. Well, listen, we they can put watch in the whatever movie you guys want on the on the movie dubs, but please promise me we will never watch the new Matrix movie. You guys already watched that, right? I don't want to watch the new one. I've already seen it. I refuse to watch it. I will be gone that day. I kind of wish sad. I'd never seen it, honestly. Same. I kind of wish I could go back and, Same. like, uh, you know, take so much proposal fall where I just don't remember that movie. I fell asleep. I had to try to finish it. I had to watch it <laughs> one half one day, one half another day. And I was like, this is awful. Yeah, I refuse. I'm going to stick with how bad, uh, you know, revolution and fucking whatever the fuck. Yeah. I like those movies, though. Uh, I'm sure three Matrix Three does not hold up if I were to rewatch it. Like, I, of course, it's not as good as the first one. The yeah. first one is a fucking masterpiece. Still holds up, dude. I was watching Matrix One the other day again, just for fun. It's so good. It is so good. Yeah, I showed it to Jeremy about a month ago, and he was like, "This movie's awesome." Yeah. God, is it good? Three's got uh, Matrix Three's got like Metal Gear Four problems. Or they're trying to do too much lore, and it's just like they just need to simplify it, like by a lot. That's what's so good about the first one. You don't need the deep dive, but if you do a sequel, you have to. Yeah. How are you gonna not explain this more? Oh my god, I'm remembering four. It's in my brain. Pops, ah! don't talk uh, about it, please. Oh, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. I don't want to know oh, anything about no, it. No, it's in my brain. I can't. Oh, I want to just. I'm gonna hold my breath until I forget. I'm kind of my brain's kind of bleeding two and three together. Even I don't remember the difference between. Those yeah, ones. I forget which where one starts and the other one ends. It's like at the opening where they're all like sexy dancing in slow mo, like in the fucking Zion, like oh, yeah. <laughs> real world yeah. town. They're like bam, 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 yeah. God, Ryan I'm, down, Reynolds. I'm down to just rewatch. Oh, dude, Blade that one's two. so good. Number three is so good. I haven't good. seen it in a long time. So, uh, there's a good backstory to Blade 3 where uh, Wesley broke Snipes. my fucking arm. Wesley Snipes went around set and refused to be called anything else besides Blade. Cool. Fuck yeah. And That's he had tight. such big problems with the director. That they only he only communicated through notes that he signed Blade, <laughs> cool. and yeah. he would just go in his trailer all day and just smoke mad weed. And that's <laughs> fuck yeah, because his character's supposed to have like bloodshot eyes, right? Yeah, dude. Daywalker, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this Bugs Bunny? Oh, it's Tremors. <laughs> The fuck what is the this? fuck is this What's going on here? Uh, what's up, Doc? <laughs> what's up, cock? <laughs> uh, it's the best AVGN ever. What he fucking shits on his face? When Mike Matei says, What's up, cocks? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love AVGN, man. Those videos still hold up, and like the new ones are so fucking good. Still good. Still got it. Every time you upload something, I watch it, dude. It's probably my favorite content creator ever. Dude, just barely dodged that. Alright, what fucking gun do I have? It's Tommy gun. Shoot. 
Bye -bye. Got the asses. I used to love Nostalgia Critic when I was younger. But then his voice became grating to me. No offense to whatever his name is. I forget his name. Doug, Doug Walker. He's a good guy and everything. And I, I liked his content a lot. But that... That fucking shriek he does. He kind of got I memed on. A, anymore, he kind of got memed on in a weird way, huh? Yeah, I think it was a kind of a orbiting people in his circle. Yeah, there was like some dude who was involved in Channel Awesome, which was his Bad like stuff. his channel, and oh. then he was a creeper, and oh, some stuff happened. Oh. He wore kind of like uh, oh. covering for the guy, and he was doing some really, really awful things. Yeah. yeah, I just I, see people meme on him in a laughing at him more than with him kind of thing. I loved his uh, early stuff because at the time, like, AVGN just came out, and I was like, man, I wish he did, like, movies. And then he did that collab or whatever. Yeah, they fought, yeah, each, yeah, other. They fought each other. And I was like, yo, who's this guy? And that's when I got addicted to his stuff. Mm -hmm. Another yo, thing that he wanted him for, though, is he did, like, a... Uh, Nostalgia Critic, The Wall or whatever. The Wall. He remade like Pink Floyd's The Wall. Oh. Uh, and it's like... It's my take. I've heard it's pretty bad. Okay. I've only seen clips of it. Yeah, I was watching... Uh, one of his videos came up I was watching. I was going... I was missing a uh, Batman animated series because I watched that. Was that last year? Remember, I couldn't shut up about how good Batman oh, animated yes. was. Yes. yes. So I was like, dude. And I saw the channel awesome has like a breakdown of all the episodes and oh, all the cool. behind the scenes cool. stuff. So I was like, dude, there's a three hour compilation breaking down the entire thing. Well, I'll watch this now. God damn, that show is good. But yeah, I still love uh, that guy. He's a good if it wasn't for him. I would have had a lot of time on my hands. Mm hmm. I watched so many of that dude's videos. Probably like his first, I don't know, 60 videos he ever made. And I was like addicted to that shit. Binging YouTube days. Oh, they hear your footsteps now. Oh, it's the mama guy. They hear your footsteps, do they? The tremors. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> oh, shit. Mama. Oh, we got a new enemy. He's dead. Kind of got old. I'm kind of. I want to try something real quick. If I load this and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious what would happen. Do it one more time. One more time. Do it one more time. I need it. I need a replay of that. <laughs> Holy fuck. Aya. Woo! <laughs> 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 Same thing. <laughs> Same physics. Woo! <laughs> I was like, what if you just don't want that cutscene? You don't need it. To be fair, a better way to go than the, the way he got it originally. Can I get up here? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be exploded than eaten by something. I'd rather go up like a firecracker. Don't come any closer. <laughs> they can hear your footsteps. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but not if I just get out of there. If I kill you first, then you're fucking gone. Oh, man. Commentaries for critically acclaimed. We've done a few. We've um, done good. Um, Godfather. Some work better than others. That's the whole thing. It doesn't really matter what kind of movie. It's just like some movies are slow and kind of just serious drama. So there's not much to say. I feel like shitty B movies work the best, right? But then there's a movie like E.T., right? It's critically acclaimed. True, yeah. And it's amazing. And there's so much to meme on. And it's... Ray's so Lost Ark, good. critically acclaimed. Willy Great Wonka. movie commentary. Willy, Willy Wonka, Wonka was awesome. a good one. Willy Wonka, yeah. But uh, I, I personally have done so many where I can look at a movie trailer and be like, this is like 90% is just going to be just insanely good. Yeah. When you know, you know. But sometimes when it's like The Hobbit, it, it changes because it's... It's more like us sharing the experience of watching it because we don't really have much to say. Sometimes it's just less laughs per minute because it's so slow and kind of drawn out. You know what I mean? And also it's like Peter Jackson's doing long shots of them just traveling landscape and you're just like, you're just kind of taking it all in type stuff. 
Jaws 3. I thought about instead of starting with Jaws 1, doing Jaws 3 first. Headshot. Jaws 1 is great, but it's slow and it's yeah. it's gonna be just a lot of us reacting to practical effects versus Jaws 3 is a good bad movie. I've never seen Jaws 3 or Jaws 2. <laughs> Back away, fellas. Yeah, I think it would be funny. Have you guys done the Rocky movies? No. We should start at Rocky 3, if we do. Start at Rocky 3? That's good. Okay, I'll give you the full rundown of what happens in Rocky 1 and 2. You ready? Rocky 1. He fights a champion. He loses. Rocky 2. He fights a champion and gets married. He wins. Now you're all caught up. Rocky three time. Okay. All right, time That's to jam. That's literally it. Oh, and his wife, her brother is an asshole. Okay. And Bro. number three, who's the who's the who's the opponent? Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah. Yeah, I never saw him. It's like that's the kind of same thing with Rambo. It's like Rambo one, First Blood, is a good movie, but I don't think it'd be a good movie commentary. Right. But it's Rambo an amazing two. Movie, though. Rambo 2 and 3, especially 3. 3 would be amazing. It's been a dude, while since just did Sylvester. Rambo, though, the one where he oh, fucking yeah. hits the dude the with 50 the 50 cal. cal. Oh, man. A uh, black suit. You uh, find surprising the Mexico aired that footage of the alien. Uh, but I think ancient Serbian tape was accurate showing the dead alien in the snow. Oh, yeah, we were talking about We were just about talking that. about that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. That clip is weird. Thank you for the 10, dude. But yeah, Appreciate there's there's a clip for those who are like, what? You know, we were talking about them aliens earlier, chat. The Mexico aliens. There's a clip. They deserve it. There's a clip from, like, Russia. Oh, shit. You think anybody will care? There's Watch a... out! Kevin! You can't just leave us here! Oh, I think there's supposed to be people, but they might be glitched My out. Legs. <laughs> oh, no, there's a guy. Let me out! You've got to help me! <laughs> All right. There's a video in there's a video in Russia of an alien body. Watch out, Kevin! And it looks just like that Mexico alien. Fucking inmates, they're not worth the trouble. Let them rot. Whoa. Oh, we're just having like Let a them flashback. Rot. Let them rot. Oh shit! Can't rot. Put tremor in here with me. Fuck, motherfucker! Try to grab me. Shit. Oh, sh ow. What's happening? Ow. Yeah, Rambo 1's. Rambo 1's a good movie, but it's very slow and paced in a way. It's trying to just kind of make you sweat a little bit, right? Can't block. But Let Rambo 2 is just an action movie. Yeah. First Blood is, uh, you know... Not only is it a great movie, like action-wise, it has like a like a message Fucking to it as well. Blow I haven't rocks. seen number two or three, but then the actual movie called Rambo comes out. That movie's crazy. The one with the machine gun. Have you seen the newest one, John, John Rambo. Rambo? Yes. Dude, there's a part in it. I'm not gonna spoil it, but holy fuck. Guy does a little bit of uh, popping gear shifts on the dude's collarbone. Yes, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. That that's fucked all, me up. Yeah, dude. that's all I saw was that one part with the oh collarbone. My God, it was so fucking gross. Yeah, I the think... Mexican, uh, it's like a cartel thing where he has to protect that lady. Dude. Yeah. Ah, oh, these tremor guys suck ass. Dude, well, you, speaking of collarbones, Baby Lou fucking headbutted me in the collarbone today, and I was like, oh! He did damage? Rambo. Oh, he's gonna Rambo me! He did actual damage? Dude, it actually hurt, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Whoa. Damn, he's getting strong. Baby's first damage dealt. Dude, I was literally worried, like, oh, fuck, did he break my collarbone? Am I gonna be like that guy in Rambo? Only takes, like, 10 pounds of pressure And or he's strong enough to do that! To break a collarbone. I've never been hitting the collarbone before. It felt weird. Dude, yeah, they break pretty easy. Yeah, okay. you can just crack it open and just like, just jam mm. it back and forth. I know like two personal friends have had it like break on them. Um, <sighs> you know how you let it heal? You just let it heal. You just you can't, chill. You just can't, don't move and it just breaks. And you you, just, every time you breathe, you feel it. It sucks. Easiest bone in the body to break, Chet, that collarbone. Drop a baby on it, you're done. That's crazy, Louie. Your baby did his first DPS check. 
While I was at company D's nuts. At Disneyland, he did damage? No, we we're at the Disney store. Oh, the store. And he just went, I was holding him and he just went, <clears throat> and just fucking headbutted me directly in the collarbone. Wow, dude, his first damn DPS chick. Dude, he, what his, his favorite thing is to grab my hair and go like this. <clears throat> <laughs> and he grabs my beard and my fucking mustache too. <laughs> dude. Oh, this is just chilling here. What the fuck? Wow, cool. Okay. Kids beating you up in public. Dude, yeah. he was grabbing my hair and then like pulled me toward him and tried to bite me. Dude, uh, he's maybe feral. you should not let him do that. I don't. He's feral. Yeah, mm -hmm. what what build? What class is he rolling, man? He's, Dude, he's going full melee, bro. He's barbarian crazy. baby build. <laughs> barbarian baby build. I'm trying to headbutt you. It's a thing, you know. You never know what class your baby's gonna roll. And it's not like he's old enough for me to be like, hey, don't do that. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't, yeah. he can't even say mom or dad yet. Mm. So it's like, what are you supposed to do? Just he can't, uh, he can't do react, anything. I guess. Yeah. Go, ow! Just hope yeah, but you when don't do break. That, he, just, he just stares at you like. Just hope you don't break your collarbones, but all you can do. He's a fighter build. Yeah. Until, you know. Until you got to put him in his place. I was a fart mage as a baby. Oh, a, uh, a druid. Hate your damage. <laughs> ah, stink build. Ah. With the flares. Flash bling, flash blang. Roll dice with the 63. How you doing, man? Uh the, the tunnel scene in Last Blood. Is that the the, the last uh, Rambo movie? I forget what that is. Tunnels, I imagine last uh blood? Lou's baby is gonna be like five feet at the age of four. Yeah, last blood is the John Rambo last blood around. Um, dude, my baby is huge. So my sister has a baby and it's six months older than my baby. And when my baby was four months old, he was already bigger than her. Sheesh. You and now I baby. see babies that are like 18 months old and he's bigger than them. Jeez. Yeah, he's huge. Has, has a doctor said like... He's off the charts. He's in the 99th percentile or whatever. Holy smokes. Yo, he's gonna be like Kane or Undertaker. Dude, you're gonna have a big... Big baby. You have to realize Jess is like five foot nine or something like that. Whoa. She's tall too. Dude, your kid is going to be very, very tall. <laughs> Out of the way, Dad. <laughs> it's gonna be like. Dude, it's scary. That it's reminds huge. me of that episode in Rugrats where they had the bigger baby come by. He's like the yes, big bully baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest, if I didn't think Louis is probably having nightmares of his baby getting so big, it becomes this giant looming baby. <laughs> like, Dad. <laughs> Where's the Cheetos? Did you know they have baby Cheetos now? Baby Cheetos? Well, they're not Cheetos. Oh, my God. This country's fucked. Listen, listen. They're not <laughs> Cheetos. They're made by Gerber. But they're shaped, they're shaped like Cheeto Puffs, and they're like uh, vegetable flavored. <laughs> My baby's growing up on nothing but baby Cheetos. Baby Cheetos. I love baby Cheetos. Sure, yeah. Dude, I tried one. It was like, uh, you know, uh, Sun Chips, the tomato kind, garden salsa. Yeah. It kind of tasted like that, but very like bland, like mm. super bland. Garden baby. salsa Cheetos. Baby style. Hey, you're giving a miracle grow with those baby <laughs> Cheetos. So when the doctor says that your baby's off the charts, like, does he already have an estimate, like, guarantee? Nah, they, I don't think club? they do that anymore because I don't want people to be like, you told me my son was going to be big and now he's not big. <laughs> yeah. Who yeah. shows up at the doctor's office with a shotgun and a high schooler going, Dude, you lied to America. America. You <laughs> lied. <laughs> I wanted a football player and all he does is play video games. I was expecting to buy an Erlacher. He gave me a fucking flutie. <laughs> Sign him up for basketball and everything. Already bought size 22 sneakers. Black suit recommending Rob Zombie Halloween. Wrong turn. Club Dread. Broken Lizards. From Broken Lizards. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yo, oh, have we done Jeepers cool. Creepers? No, we have not. No. Oh, that'd be a good one. Thanks yeah. for the Rex, dude. Uh, we, I think we have most of those on our list, yes. too. Yes. Chewy, what up, Chewy? That's yeah, crazy that you didn't pull the doctor aside and be like, come on, give me an estimate. They just say he's going to be big. <sighs> That's all they really say. Yeah. Because, like, how do you put a number on that, right? Yeah. It's not like a number thing. 
But like, what are my all, chances? If I were to put, put on a number of what it's going to be. But of all like, the babies, the way they come out of all humans of all kind of all time, they can't go, you're in this range, you can expect about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, he's like, here's the range. Your baby's off the charts. So, like, babies off this chart tend to be from here to here. Or could he still be 5'5"? Five, five? You never know. See, like, there's no way his baby's going to be 5'5". Five, five. No, it's going to be oh, yeah, easily. No, that's why the yeah. doctor can't give you I things. think he's going to be eyeball to eyeball with Lou when he's about that age. I think At least. I think he's I think. guaranteed at least six foot club. Easy, right? I mean, if I he's 6'7", I, mean, oh I mean, that is a, I mean, that's a monster of a human being. And I'll be very proud of my nephew. Because uh, it's going to be huge. <laughs> yeah, if you're not proud, I'll beat the shit out of you. He'll beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I would have a choice. <laughs> That TNT, there we go. Wind is dumbass. Thank you for reading my dono. Of course, man. Black suit, love you, brother. Thank you so Black much, man. Suit. We try to read everybody's dono as much as we can, but sometimes the gameplay, we, we mean to get wanna, back to it and then we forget. You know, we do want the show to be the focal point, um, but we always appreciate everything. Sorry if we miss any of you guys. Love you we, too. we like to keep our commentary rolling and sometimes it's like, you know, a lot of moving parts. I don't want it to be just a couple hours of nonstop thank yous. I feel like that's not fun either for the viewers. So it's like we try to, you know, keep it moving. Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, like when I was a kid, the doctor said I was going to be six foot six. Well, well, it wasn't too far How off. far are you from that, though? I'm about six foot four. I'm like yeah, a quarter yeah. inch away from six so foot So the guy four. was off two inches. Is that gonna... That's pretty good. <laughs> I'd but, say but, give but him some. It, but imagine you go, all right, your, your, your son's going to be six foot, and then he's 5'10". You know, that, and then, then, you're, then you're mad. Eh, mm. yeah, 5'10's still pretty good. I bet it's not six foot. Does it really matter, though? Oh, you tell me if it doesn't matter. Yeah, six four. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. When you're tall, you don't think about it. You know what I mean? Shout out to all the short kings out there. Shit, I knew these guys were fucking coming. Well, short short people. The super short ones are the ones that live to be like 120 years old. They also get that curse like that one guy in that video. I don't know. The Our long grandpa is Oh, like... big penis. Yeah. The big penis problem. How old do you think? I mean, how tall do you think Grandpa is? Like six foot one or six foot? Maybe six one, maybe. He's up there, and he's like ninety fucking seven or some shit. He's built different though. Yeah, he's he's a, he's going forever. It said you were gonna be six two, six three, and you're five ten. See, now you're pissed. So you're a big baby though. Lifting in high school may have stunted it, though. Yeah. Uh, Lifting's good. Gives you them strong no, bones. No, I've, I've heard that, though. I've heard like, that. If you lift when you're too young. But, I mean, once you're in high school, you're pretty much at your height that you're going to be. I don't know. Depends don't know. on which age in high school you're talking about. Once you hit, like, 18 or 19, you're not getting much I taller. I feel like it's dude. a little bit of copium. Like, it's like, I because I lifted too early. I think it's just uh, uh, it's uh, no uh, maybe you know. I like this idle animation drops the photo. That's funny. Yeah, I remember being in like middle school, high school, and all everyone going, "God, these growth spurts hurt so much." I'm like, "Yeah, tell me about it, fellas." <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fellas, tell me about it. My shins would hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, I, definitely I would got get that. that. I yeah. get that a lot. Oh yeah, it is. I got that when I was younger though, like when I was like 11. <laughs> Hey, quit laughing at me. <laughs> Be happy, short kings. You live longer. I guess so. Yeah, if you, if you're trying to make it to like 120, being short's like the way in. It's like Bilbo Baggins, right? You live to being yeah. 111 yeah. years old. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. Part of the average Joe's. Shout out to the five... 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 boys holding it down in average town with the yeah, big, with the bo yeah. with the bofs the big old foreheads. We do what we do. We're we're good people. You, you can know, trust us. Short people live longer, but not in every situation. If you fall in the quicksand. Okay, now you're getting specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so avoid uh, avoid pitfalls. I'm just saying. Where are they coming from? There's that Half Life Two voice actor. That pit. I think I saw one jump out of there. 
What does this button do? I don't get it. What is this? What am I doing? What am I operating? Oh, you're oh. dropping that thing. Oh, it was like a pit to hell. What the fuck? Maybe you're trying to lower it so you can jump. I can't on even something. lower it more than that. Oh, it's left and right. Oh. Well, all those guys died. Sorry, fellas. Oh, cover the hole. Cover the hole. There you go. Oh, yeah, no more hell. I didn't know what the fuck they wanted there. The movement was really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Short Mount King's getting cool <laughs> shoes? Yeah, man, that's true. Dude, <laughs> tell me about <laughs> it, bro. Yep. Yep. Mount, I like Mountain Brute. I am incredibly average in just about <clears throat> every department. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, man. Life shout out to all the mid boys. Shout out to all the average boys. Is just, good. Shout out to all the boys. Just blend in. Fair to Midland, brother. You just blend in. No need to stick out. We keep it mid. Nothing to brag about. What I'll football play anymore. we go? We go mid. <laughs> what lane do we play? We go mid. Mm. C2K, speaking of aliens, you should watch Charlie Sheen's Arrival. Alien scary movie. Wait, I watched The Arrival. That had Charlie Sh No. I think there's like a... um, um, What's those parody movies of like those scary movies back in the 90s? Scary oh, movie? Oh, like not another teen movie kind of yeah, era? Yeah, of scary, scary movie. Oh, okay. Superhero movie. Scary Epic movie 4. Movie. For a yeah. second, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what the name of scary movie was because it didn't sound smart enough. Mm-hmm. Scary being, movie 3, yeah. Naked Gun. The lieutenant says being tall is hard. Flying on planes, back seats of Honda Civics. Bro, I sat in a Scion, not the XB, the X whatever. XC? Yeah, the one that came out alongside the XB when they first started Scion. Yeah. Dude. My neck hurt so bad after sitting in that shit for like 30 minutes. It fucked me up. I was looking at SUVs and even me, like on the back. I was <clears> testing <throat> out the back seat, so I want to roll around with you guys. And I get in there, some of those SUVs are like touching the top of my head. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you can lower a lot of the seats in SUVs. Oh, that's a different But type not of the problem. back seats, you know? Yeah. Um, another thing, I went on a cruise. Yeah. And I was kind of buzzing. Feeling and it? there was a fucking low hanging fucking uh, roof. Uh, I fucking smacked my head on ouch. that shit. Big dome did, huh? And I don't know who gets it worse, but I mean, with clothing, whether you're short or you're tall, at least with short, you can get stuff hemmed. But you guys probably have more trouble with clothes than anybody. Yeah. I would say, right? Yeah. Shoes, especially. Being mid's good. I buy stuff as is, size chart, everything works out just great. Yeah. Sorry, it fellas. really sucks for shoes because like anytime they make like a cool shoe like like oh the shack reebok pumps are back in i'm like oh do they have my size nope you think yeah. the shack reebok would keep your size in stock yeah. you, know you think I mean? that you think that <laughs> but shack is a very smart businessman he realizes there's no one built like louis dude i feel like shack is keeps owning stuff i went to the grocery store he had his name on like seven different products it was like Shaq's cucumbers, Shaq's frozen chicken nuggies, Shaq's salmon, Shaq's Listen, pizza, Shaq's I, beef, <laughs> Shaq's this. I was like, this guy owns everything. I already hate cucumbers. I definitely do not want to <laughs> eat Shaq's cucumber. He had everything. <laughs> I swear to God, he keeps getting different uh, sponsors and things he owns. And you know, once he got that Papa John takeover, he's been taking over everything else. I swear he's, I don't know what else he's got. He's, other than the shoes, shack meat, shack beef, shack hot dogs. You ever seen this? Am I at the... Yeah, do you think? Who's this? Bad luck, Brian? Bad luck, Brian. And I think I'm late on my car insurance. Oh my God. Good thing the general gives you a break when you need it. Yeah, with flexible payment options. <laughs> so today is your lucky... Oh. Day. Dirt. With the general. Dang it. Well, oh, that's China's. Wow. The general that even is, getting on it. That is crazy, dude. Shaq's just, he's just, man. Uh, so Shaq was very smart. He uh, diversified all of his businesses. I think he did learned a lot from uh, Magic Johnson. Yeah. He's like, you need to own fat burgers. You need to own fucking Papa John's. You need to do all this shit. I think, too, because he was... I was listening to a podcast with him on it, and he was saying how he didn't make as much money as the pros make now. Yeah. Right, yeah. So he was talking about how those guys are, like, 
they can own jets and things. He's like, I got money, but it wasn't as much as the guys in the in the spotlight make now. They make like quadruple whatever he made when he was winning all those championships. So look he had to up, do um, movies and all kinds of shit. Music. Can you look up how much Jerry Rice was making when he was a wide receiver, Pops? Jerry like, Rice. Like I was his, talking to a coworker about this. You want to know, like, in his prime, how much he was bringing home? Yeah. Because he was, like, one of the top names, like, in the NFL in 2003, right? Like, how much were their contracts for? It must have been um, average salary of almost 6 mil. That's not bad, though. 8.5 mil. But some people are making, like, 40-something mil now. Oh, my what God. What was Aaron Rodgers' uh yeah, what's a sports contract now compared to that? Aaron Rodgers, uh, Jets uh, salary. What's the contract? Seventy-five million. You see what I'm saying? Jesus. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I know this because I follow football. Uh, he basically tore his Achilles tendon on the fifth play of the first game. Oh my God! I don't know if that's. You see that jump there? So when Shaq was like, "Bro, I don't make money like they do now, so I have to own." The chicky nuggies and the salmon yeah. uh, burger pizzas you could microwave, and he just owns a bunch of shit. And Papa John's. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. You spend that much money, and the guy fucking blows his foot off. Yeah. Oh. Does he still get paid for the rest of the year that much? Uh, there's a certain level of guarantee. I don't know his contract specifically. Someone in the chat said, was it Steph Curry? 20, uh, 215 mil? That makes sense. But that's wow, also that's, crazy. That sounds well. like that seems a little that's high. That's such but an I, insane amount of money, dude. Oh my god, twenty two hundred fifteen <laughs> million dollar four year, four year contract. Deal. Wow, he's the new superstar. You know what I mean? I mean, he has several years to go. I, I think. Oh my god, Pat Holmes. Yeah, Pat Mahomes. Four hundred. This is like Doctor Evil numbers, man. Well, when they said the XQC billion. thing, I was like, gee, even that, I was like, Jesus. And he doesn't have to be exclusive to kick? Just 100 mil? Wait, just... he's going to kick? <laughs> Steph Curry's on kick? No, we're talking Steph about... Steph Curry was, showing his dick? I saying that <laughs> XQC guy. I love XQC. She could do what? <laughs> I mean, I watch his stuff all the time. I, I just think his voice is funny. Yeah, he talks, listen, guys, guys, listen, talks listen. very fast. It's that accent. It's just fucking hilarious to me. There's another dude on TikTok who has the same accent who plays like the Slither IO game. Mm. And I watch him too. It fucking cracks me up. Oh my god, that's so insane. <laughs> Don't forget to half it because of taxes. Yeah, but still, I mean, I'd rather have them half me at 200 mil than 4 mil, you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> just while we're at it. And all of the advertisement deals and all the potential blah, blah, blahs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that too, right? I don't know if that contract has that included. Like, oh, you're going to do t-shirts and hats and shit too. I'm sure he signs like a Nike deal and all that stuff. That is fucking just crazy. <laughs> uh, Meat Canyon, yeah, his stuff's really great. The oh, one he no. did on XQC was awesome. It's funny. Dark in here. Smooth, uh, this game changed, took like a weird turn. It's definitely doing that outdoor. This is the outdoor Let's section. Let's get you outdoor. Blow some shit up. Payback. Get it, baby. It's too good for those fuckers. Let's get them alive. Oh God. Get them alive. Oh, I mean, fuck. if you were being harassed every day by fucking, you know, the prison officers and shit, I wouldn't blame them. Personally, I'd never kill anybody, but, but I don't under, I, but I get it. I understand it. Did you see the guy escape from prison? What? Yeah, the guy like, just like Spider-Man walled up the and escaped prison. How the fuck do you do that? Yeah, he just like, he, he just wall climbed up the wall, uh, up through some barbed wire and he escaped. They, they caught him just recently though. Dude, anybody who does parkour like should be in a maximum security prison. Like, I mean, he was a convicted murderer. Oh, Jesus. Was that guy, like, on a, was it a manhunt thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they caught him today. I, I saw it on the TV at the gym. I was like, they're like, local manhunt. They finally caught the guy. I was like, whoa. I saw a video of, they had, like, video where he's, like, trying to yeah. hide on the wall. Yeah, he wall climbs up. Fucking. For insane. some reason in my head, I just pictured, like, Mario bouncing from wall to wall. Up it's kind of like that, honestly. He does that, like, <clears throat> rush hour move. I think they did it in one of Jackie, yeah, Jackie Chan's Chan. movies where you, like, 
wall to wall yourself so you can stay above a door and he's wow. trying to hide out. Where's that manhunt? Where was that? Uh, Arizona. Arizona? Dude, how many murders did he do before they got him? No, 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 no. He didn't murder anybody on the manhunt. He got convicted for murder, put in jail, and then escaped. I what thought, kind of I murder? thought he was like serial killer and they're looking for him kind of thing. <laughs> Philadelphia. There you go. PA. Gotcha. So he just escaped. So it was like all hands on deck. Find the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they found him. It's just manhunt sounds more like this guy's a murderer. We got to hunt him down. How do they not have prisons in like a giant cage? Cage? What are you talking about? Like, how do they have an open sky? They should just be, from what I understand, covered at all times. Is I'll, I'll show you the video. <clears throat> uh, that the where he wall climbed had barbed wire, so he was wall climbing up through the barbed wire. Wow! And then he escaped Dude, and, and then, up. And yeah, then pulled that. through, and then he went through another barbed wire fence. I saw that clip for half a second. I was like, "What the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck's killing me? Yeah, Stupid tremors creeping up on me." Dude, that's a genius idea. Just put a prison, like, uh, on Kami's Tower or whatever. <laughs> yeah, way up high. You know what I mean? Like, put it way up high so if they escape, they just... Ah! <laughs> this is not the first time this guy had escaped this prison. Uh, really? Someone, someone had escaped this particular prison. That's what chat says. Just put a moat. Crocodiles. That's what they did with Alcatraz, right? But not crocodiles. It was just, like, That Post Malone over there. Water. Look, there he goes, chat. Damn. And he's just... Up to freedom. And he's out. What the fuck? Yeah. What trips me up is once you're at the top, what's that next move? You know what I mean? I guess you get don't your fall. get your fingertips <laughs> on the lip of something and then just drop and hope you don't eat shit. Because guess... once you're like that, you're just like so locked in. And I guess like there was, a double a, jump. there was a guy watching the monitors that missed it. And there was a guy in the tower, like the guard tower, and he missed it. So he just got like inc insanely high, like good high rolled, and then like he got insane luck. And they just found him. Um, I think he's just like chilling in him? like a homie's house. Yeah. But it's like, how many cameras do they have on this one prison that this one guy is supposed to be watching at a time? Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, there's if they had like a team of like 50 people each watching their own <laughs> monitor, then I could understand it being impossible to get out. But when you got one guy sitting in a room like Five Nights at Freddy's trying to figure out which guy is coming out, Pops, like, what the fuck are you going to do? Can you do me a favor and Google a prison guard salary? <laughs> uh, you're not going to like it. What is a prison guard salary, Lou, if you Correction. had to guess? Whatever it is, bro, it I think is it's good not money. worth it. I think it's good, but I don't know how good. Bro, you get poop shivved. You get poop thrown on you. Oh, my God. It is not what I thought it was going to be based on these numbers that are popping up. What is it? 42k? <laughs> that is not worth, bro. I had a. There's this dude at my at my college. His dad was on the show where um, they like, you know, do the yeah. drama where they let him out, and sometimes they have to scuff him up. And he, yeah. his dad was huge. And he said even on the oh TV god. show, it was um, oh my god, 40k tops. It, it, this is a <clears throat> this is an average, and just by zip recruiters. Because they have to like go in there and fucking fight these guys. They get shit thrown at them. I thought it would be more than that. Yeah, they get actual feces thrown at them. Like, I... Oh, my God. I'd rather work at a zoo at that point. That's why a lot it's, of people who work in prison smuggle stuff in. It makes sense it's now. true. You get more money. All right. <laughs> yeah, when I was watching that show, or was it, was it the 30 Days In or whatever? Yeah, and people would smuggle stuff. I'd be like, how the fuck are they getting it in the food tray? It's because the lunch lady's like, I make $12 an hour. What do you expect? You got some keister <laughs> for me? I doubt they have rights every day. Yeah, that's true, but dudes will literally shit in their hand, put their hand out the little slot, and throw it at them. Oh, man. God. You imagine a guy coming up with a shit spoon? He's trying to cut you with it? Ugh. Cuban cocktail? Fuck that. You go to hand them their food, they just stab you with a little shit knife. You got Poo an infection in Purilla mains. Now you have <laughs> yeah. fucking hepatitis. Dude, that's so shit, Yo, man. Bro. Yo. Over here. Yo, bro. Over here. Yeah, Yo, bro. I, I got you. Here it comes. Over here, bro. Ready for it. Here it comes. Dude, I'm trying. Thanks, bro. Dude. Hope you make it out, too. <laughs> Hope you make it out, too. There's hope for you yet, T. Oh, and then you get a little reward. Aww. Getting the good ending, I heard from chat. Good, T. So keep being a good boy. Dude. Unless you want the bad ending. Dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. 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 
dude. Yo, dude. I'm stuck, dude. Dude. Let me out, dude. Thanks, dude. Hope you get out too, dude. Peace out, dude. Dr. Phil McGraw within 77. Cutscene, fellas. Twins. What the fuck? Creepy. Ooh. -woo. You it. saw the devil. Oh. He's close. Don't let him get you. <laughs> the finger. Ugh. <laughs> What's that doll? Oh. It's a voodoo doll. Good God. Weird. Prisoners put shampoo in bottles that scorch you in the eyes. Blind you, they bite no, you. No, not so. Get you all slippery. <clears throat> I mean, if I was going to try to make a run for it, I would fucking rub myself down with shampoo. Or doo doo. Like, I'm trying to get him with slippery. He's like a oiled up pig. Cool. It makes me want to like see if there's like a documentary on like the greatest prison breaks of all time, like, where it's like he just worked at that brick wall with a plastic spoon, and over the course of 15 years, he carved out a hole big enough for him and all his friends. They all escape. Yeah, it's a Clint Eastwood movie with a guy that escapes from Alcatraz. <laughs> yes, yeah, Alcatraz. Yeah. Al. Did they ever catch that guy that escaped Alcatraz? And water. Crane mechanics, best part of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true oh. physics. PS2 days. What do we do for a puzzle? Crane. Let's do a Knock crane. Knock it over. They said he was eaten by sharks, probably. That's what they want you to think, because they don't want you to know that he's just like yeah. hanging out, you know, working at uh, Walmart or something. Can I check your Oops. receipt? I was pressing the wrong button. I escaped fucking Alcatraz. Is this what I have to do? <laughs> What'd you say, sir? Nothing. Have a great day. He drowned. I mean, how far is that swim, man? <clears throat> it's a long one. It's pretty uh, treacherous, too. How many miles is that swim? Fuck that, dude. Isn't it like 10 miles or something like that? I would not make it very far. I suck ass at swimming. Two miles? That's... Two Not miles? as far as I thought. I Still far. really far, though. Two miles. And the water wasn't, like, calm. It's like fucking, you know. But you do that shit where you, uh, you hit your back and you just kind of just pace yourself. And you just kind of go slow. That's how most people do those long super long distances where it's like, fuck, my boat flipped. I'm stranded. You yeah, but that's when you're swing. not trying to escape prison. You oh, you don't want that orange showing? Or what those, you do is those stripes rather you tie the ends of your pants mm -hmm. you blow air into your wet pants and build like kind of like a bubble oh dude i'm not doing that i'm not gay Listen, you dude. blow your pants yes i learned it in boy scouts i Have, brought it up on another wait, episode wait wait, wait 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 <laughs> <laughs> you blew some dude's pants you make your pants into a balloon yes and it works it does yeah the air doesn't just it. escape through the cotton material of her pants. Well, the Boy this. Scouts uniform was made out of material like this, like Dickies. Oh, you're wearing like the super it has to be like denim, nylon or something. Maybe. Right. It can't be like fucking you know joggers or whatever. Like Louis, this is very dangerous because there's someone in chat that's gonna get stranded at sea. They're gonna be blowing into Yo, their I'm pants. I'm not telling you to try and it. They're if gonna you're be like, at oh sea. god, I hope that lunatic life guy was right. <laughs> and like, I'm so tired, I can't breathe anymore, and drown. <laughs> Serves them right. <laughs> I got no more air in my lungs. You don't even have to. Here's the thing. You don't even have to blow it up. You just literally go and waft a bunch of air in there, and then you hold it closed. Oh, you waft. Your oh, you pants. didn't say waft. You, you said blow. Yeah. Oh, you said get down on your knees and blow. You said service your pants. I forgot. Blow your pants. It's been a while since my training. <laughs> We trained in somebody's backyard pool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Out there Go ahead, children. I don't nipples. think you got a badge for this Go one, Go ahead, bro. children. No, I actually Start did. blowing. I actually did get a badge for it. Blow those pants, children. <laughs> Mom's coming to visit. <laughs> what did Gusty Skeeter say? <laughs> Mom's going to get me. Mom's coming to visit. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What the fuck's going on with this game? <laughs> Is it supposed to be scary? I don't know. I said, Mom's coming to visit. <laughs> Boss fight, looks like, huh? Let me save. 
Somebody help me. <laughs> you remember the first time we met? Oh. We were in Druid Hill, and I saw you in that old broken gazebo. <laughs> you were so good looking. Mm. Mm. I thought you were all mature. How old did you think I was? I felt so young with you. All my girlfriends were so jealous. <laughs> we were so good together for a while. For a while, while, while. Even when I left, I still loved you, T. I thought about you every day. Every day. I still do. And I still do. Don't you wish we could go back to that? But sometimes, Ooh. I think you only brought me suffering. Oh. Don't forget your sprite. New enemy type. Big boys. Oh, fuck. These guys are the worst. Fuck you. God damn it, TNT. Oh, that worked. Well, you got him. It like went in his little hole. Come here, Bugs Bunny. Take that. You voice acting's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, there's some. There's like the one guy who's doing a lot of hair heavy lifting. He was Dallas and another a character. Bring the ruckus. Yeah. Oh wait, what the fuck? I wanted to look more around here. Spooky. This game's a vibe. It's got early PS2 horror vibes. Just the pacing of like a feels like a Half Life kind of pacing. What is all this nothing out here? Yeah, it's super wide open for no reason. Oh god. Is this just for an item? Lore. The doctor looked inside my head and took the bad out. Uh -oh. <laughs> that sounded lame. Took the bad out. Uh -oh. <clears throat> you got a skeleton looking like an alien from Mexico. Shoot his head. It. Clunk. <laughs> Clunk. Clunk. Game looks badass. It's pretty sick. Don't fuck with this game. This game will fuck you up and give you nightmares. And you'll feel the suffering. You will suffer if you play this game. It's like it sounds like an old video game ad. Whoa! Oh! What the fuck was that? Number fifteen. The suffering. This game is the scariest game. In this game, you play as T, a man who supposedly murdered his family. Yeah, like 90s video game ads were always like that. It'd be like a picture of Sonic, and then the big caption would be like, ready to fuck? And then you read small, it's like, Sonic's faster than ever. Are you going to be man enough to take on the Shut challenge? Up. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 comes out this December. <laughs> it's like, what, what the fuck's with that ad? Oh, no. Uh-oh. We just get... Oh. Oh, my God. That was crazy as hell. A lot of jump scares in this part. Who's this? Another... <laughs> Shut up! Killjoy! Ah! Oh... Just saw an update. <clears throat> a Mexican mommy alien. Not surprised. What are the results? Do we have a live update, Popo? How do I find out the news? Uh, just type uh, the Reddit UFO will probably tell you. you type huh? Mexican mummy. Alien. I was going to type that. <laughs> Mexican mummy. That's how I, I they found out, out it's fake. So Aww. what's going to happen to that? So what's going to happen to that guy? <laughs> How'd they find out? This just in. It's fake. Hang him. How'd they find out? It should be like that top post, if not second to the top post, huh? No, that's old stuff. That's old news. That's old news. Wait. What did you, what did you guys find out? What did you guys see? They're trying to cover it up? The YouTube video from two years had the same mummies? Well, yeah, I mean, these mummy things have been kind of old. Stop the steal! It was They're trying to steal our mummy aliens! They debunked it two years ago? He's shown fake life forms before. Yeah, we we yeah, talked we, about we talked that. Yeah, we, we got into that. But is he right this time? Hey, guys, I he's think he's a reputable before. person. I think he's, you know, he's not trying to grift. I think he's has genuinely got fucking biology. So or... when you talk to this guy, like, what does he say? You know, if you're like, dude, okay, we caught you, it's fake. Is he like, oh, you caught me? He's like, nope. 
He's like, yeah, you're part of the problem. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you pesky Twitch streamer. Yeah, like how mad is he gonna be? Paper mache? No, dude, it was, it was biologists. He's just a liar. I mean, I was told, don't fall for his schemes. But maybe this was the one time he was telling the truth, you know? Once a liar, always a liar. That's what they say. I don't want to do the Mexican guy cried wolf thing, you know? Yeah. The Mexican UFOologist cries wolf. Because what if he actually gets it and we immediately dismiss it, right? That's what I was thinking. That's on him, dude. If he's like, no, 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 no. This time I swear. This time I swear. <laughs> that'd be a big, that'd be the biggest shame of all I time. think the aliens would understand, you know? No, 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 me gusta, me gusta. He's doing it for clout? Clout? No, the guy's like, what are you talking about? This guy's like some old dude. He's not even, I don't. Oh, you think he's trying to get laid? Because get he's a, got some fucking followers? Paper mache, uh, fucking baby aliens? Dude, old guys want clout the most. Have you ever heard an old guy just tell a bunch of fucking stories that are obviously fake? Yeah. Like, ba uh, like baby aliens they found in some dude's yard in Mexico? Yeah. Man, <clears throat> so they found out 100% it's fake, chat. Is that what you're telling me? Where'd you guys find out or this? Or are we getting one guide where one guy's claiming that it's fake and everyone's just jumping on board? Well, when you refreshed YouTube, I saw Charlie's new video it says new update about aliens. So I was like, did something happen in the last three hours while we were doing this? Update. <clears throat> so I'm like, we are back. What I is gotta go the... drain the snake. Oh, dude. Fuck it. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Drain that thing, Lou. Drain, drain it, dude. Going into the scary house. They're now. saying don't buy into the hype, man, because it's all it's that guy. That one dude, he's been proven fake before, man. Other than the guy's been a phony before. But this time. Para para this time. Although, para ahora, ahora this time. I will say. Puntos para mí. It is a great time to buy Halloween decorations. So if you had your house covered with these, you know, alien baby things hanging around your house, it's a good, good time to buy them. Secret door? No. Maybe as a human, you can push that cage. Would y'all try alien drugs? I won't be the first one. You would? I won't be the first one. Hell no. I wouldn't even eat their food first. Um, if they abducted me, I guess why not? Well, this was a room to actually go in. We got bamboozled. No, I said in our VOD that this guy has been known to be a hoaxer. Yeah, we, we start He's, with the disclaimer. I said the, he is their ancient alien, big hair, crazy white dude. He's their guy. That guy used to get memed on all the time for talking about seeing aliens in ancient paintings and shit. Yeah. So I was like, eh. He just snuck his way into the meeting where they were trying to talk about lights in the sky. Like, they showed other videos that were like lights in the sky, but we don't want to see that anymore. You know what I think happened was, uh, whoa, sorry. I'm scared. Uh oh. Cool. Welcome, my fine this guy again. I'm so glad you've come to see the show. My performance, uh, my performance on you, as it were, will be something I shall thoroughly enjoy. And I trust, so shall you. I am not certain we have been formally introduced. Talk, isn't it? Uh, my name is Killjoy. Dr. Killjoy. Killjoy. And I will be your alienist this fine evening. Okay. I'm telling you, a remake of this game could be so cool. Is this a rush? Enemy rush room? Survive the enemies? Killjoy! I think I wasted my monster transformation, too. No, I still got it. Get off. AoE's too strong. Yeah, for this room. Is that it? I guess kill it, yeah. Alright, that was it. 
Bioshock vibes in a weird way. It's just, this game has cool pacing. And characters like Killjoy, if they played him up more, it could be a really cool change of pace for the game. So we're just going room to room fighting different enemies. They were full of Jesus eggs. Yeah, those aliens, they had something going on in their belly. Something ain't right. I just think that Mexico saw that, you know, they had an opportunity to do their UAP congressional hearing. And they didn't want to have, like, a, some guy talking about boring lights, so they, like... The lights were boring. We need to make our thing a little bit more popped off. We need to get people talking about this. We, we didn't, need to get people talking on social media. We didn't are pull these, up the lights. Are these gifts for me? Oh, yeah, Louie, I found... Um, I didn't have a chance to look at the... Careful with the... I'll do it off stream. You need to not show stuff, but, like, you can check those and see what's in them. But, yeah, you had birthday gifts that never... Yo. You had birthday gifts that Hot got mustard. lost. Hot mustard! Oh, yummy. Louie got a 3D printed hashtag lunatic hot mustard. Dude, nice. I fucking love hot mustard. And a bunch of true. mini bonkers. And very small Aww. bonkers. Cute. Very small bonkers. I like these. These are very nice. I think it was D-Boy might have Yo, a D -Boy, note in you. there for you, Lou. Here it is. You. If I can read it on screen. There you go. Charlie Chappelle, thank you, dude. Happy birthday. First, let me say congrats on the new house. Very cool. This gift has a little backstory, so let me explain. El Pacho wanted to make your McDonald's hot mustard obsession official and commissioned me to make you a 3D printed hot mustard packet. Also threw in some 3D mini bonkers for you and the crew. Oh, you guys get to have one. Sweet. Hold it right there. All these designs are done by me and they are my first attempt at 3D designs. So let me know what you think. Obviously, I love what you boys do. I'm so glad I get to be a small part of it. Again, happy birthday, Lou. D-Boy Trace, dude. Thank you, D-Boy. D-Boy, you're a big part of it, man. And Thank sorry you. it got lost. Yes, I think our garage was crazy, and I cleaned it out, and I saw that. Wait. Are you really Is he smoking there? meth? This guy's getting high, Louie. Look. I am dreaming again. Dude, he's smoking no. crack. <laughs> no, you real, that. This guy's high as shit. Oh. So oh my god! It's a disgusting planet. Better Kennedy, Scott, they all went out. Try to find out what is happening. Me? I say why. <laughs> I hear the sounds. Boom, the batteries. Ah! He seems see cool, dude. Things. He's cool as chill. Through I'm not going to disrupt there. this guy. Things I don't want Here's to see a B-Day B -day gift for I Lou, right plus here. presents for the whole We're Djibouti safe. crew. Because it's Christmas in July, the Spectral Spookster. I'll be fine with you need. Oh. Blow his head off. <laughs> my only oh, sense is smoking weed. my stereo. Power go off. We don't work now, you see? If I could just enjoy a few more spins of my music, I'd be a happy man. I don't blame him on that, dude. Hit that, hit that vinyl, baby. Let me hit Maybe that vinyl. Dyna, uh, Strange dynamite story just to see what happens. Place. Was a crazy house. Opening off screen because they don't know what's uh, in here. They send people who not know what is what. Don't smoke weed. Oh my Why god. Hurting anybody? Dude, he just disappeared. They turned into a hookah. This one's for Jeff. I'll put Place, this over uh, here. They send the people who not know what is what. Me, I self medicate. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've been abandoned for many years. Very many now years. Huh? Come here to be free. Is only place I feel okay, safe. I get to Come pick first out of all three of these gifts, the door, then Pops, then Just, because Pops like Street Fighter 2 more than you. Oh. <laughs> so the note alludes to them being Street Fighter themed gifts? What are you talking about? And then the last prize shall be for the Mario Party winner. The wiener. Which is going to come in Halloween, right? Well, this yeah. is for your birthday, so technically it would be me. <laughs> well, <laughs> shut up. Listen, come back again, friend. The door, it is always See, that guy got it right. Yo. He should have just been smoking weed the entire time. What'd you get, Lou? It's a 50 cent piece from Fiji, and it's got M. Bison on it. Cool. Oh, they're like Street Fighter II collectible coins. Look at sick. that. That's really sick. These don't look like lights, do they? They look like a chicken breast. Yeah, the chicken foil. filet. It's like throwing me off. Pretty cool though. Yo, this one's Vega. Yeah, collectible coins. These are sick as fuck, dude. Collectible coins. So I'll go right next to my werewolf coin. 
You have werewolf, werewolf? coins? Yeah, we got a piece of silver. I think it might have been from Spectral Spooster. I think I have to go back downstairs. Oh, Ryu, dude. Ryu? It's Ryu, dude. Sh well, back then, yeah. Ryu. That's, that's what we all called them. Ryu. Rye bread, you. It is so ah, difficult double to baby. tame the brain. Sometimes it needs a little jolt to be you. Oh. And another Ryu. Well. Ryu, huh? I know which one I'm gonna choose. <sighs> He's got some weight to him. Yeah, they're sick. That's a heavy coin, boy. This is tough, but I have These to pick cool. Ryu, man. These are silver. Yeah. Ugh. And I'm pretty sure Pops is gonna want this one because I know it's his main. He loved Bison, so it's got Bison Street Fighter 2 art on it. And now, Jesse, you get to choose between Ryu and Vega. Ryu. All right. So whoever wins Mario Party Halloween, it's don't the you sexy Vega? Don't you do it? We'll put it right here. Yeah, this coin's sick. Yo, thank you very, very much. So awesome. Wario for president, down with thickness. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Most purple ass win. Oh, sh he's already rooting for you. He knows. Oh. He's gonna win. <laughs> he knows. This is the best part of the game. Do you enjoy torturing? Him? Oh wow, they actually judge you because you keep oh. pressing it. Oh. Can I look at what Jeff More. got? I'm going to look at it. More. I'm More. not going to say what it is on stream because I'll wait for him no, to reveal. Say it. But I want to see what Jeff got. You don't know. It's so fun shocking this guy. Surprised he's still moving. That's actually really dope. Ow. <laughs> I want to just blow his head off. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh. That game, the game has judged me for doing this. The sick wife was like, you really doing that, you sick fuck? fuck so if you fuck, do fuck, one fuck. bad thing, you get the bad ending? Or there's probably a middle, because you did a little bit of both. Then very good, very bad, mm -hmm. right? I'm guessing. Usually it's how these worked back in the day. Savor life and all its magic. Ever wonder why you're so furious, Talk? What happens no. when your world goes black? Do you ever see a creature, a beastly form, the likes of which would cause any sane man to flee in hmm. terror? Tell me about him. Did I not How see all the feel? rooms? From one Pokemaniac to another. You know what's funny? I just bought like... Pokemane? Four booster packs the other day, so I'm actually really excited for this. Oh, he got Pokemon cards? Yeah, I got an Articuno, Gyarados, us, a Moltres. Careful, those could be worth a lot of money. I mean, dude, this course, one probably. New to you, uh, fucking then. Mew. You got a Mew That's card? That's a rare one, dude. That's first gen. And dude, the hieroglyphic Mewtwo. Oh, wait, no, this is Mew, actually. I say, actually, how much are these fucking cards? How much is that, actually? <laughs> dude, how much is that up? card? I remember the hieroglyphic Mew back in the day. I remember my buddy's dad go. bought it how for him, it and he spent a lot of money on it. I don't know how much it's worth today. What do you think? The remote. But it's more it under that I got it from chat. That yeah. means more to me. I would never trade it for money. Yeah. Well, this is going straight in my, uh, my card case. I wonder if I can even show it. Let me see that card, bro. Which weighs upon the heart. How much is this card, chat? My, my. If only it were that Cause that looks fucking damn, the camera can't even handle it. It's like ooh. Sheesh. Ooh. Yo, that's a nice little holograph, isn't it? Hold on one more time. Oh it's realer than those aliens in Mexico, boy. It's whoa, so whoa, whoa. If it's PSA 10, it's $300. Whoa. So much work whoa. To be done. And it is what about... It's in very nice condition. Uh, but truly, this clutter doesn't even compare to the... Oh. That one I've never seen in person head. before. Just uh, non-hollow? Uh, uh, normal Mew. Take good care of these, Lou. I will. I'll put them right in my, uh, Take good care of my look, card. Look at all the dog hair hard baked into our green wall. <laughs> As for Didi. It is the work that I do that makes me worthy of their attention, of their gazing eyes that Moltres. makes me a star of unprecedented I think that Mew's about a dollar. My hey, it's just it's, it's, it's a sentimental value. Sentimental. It's sentimental. Value. Here's our Pokemon, our Pokemon polls for the night. 
Thank you guys very much. I'd say my favorite card is one I got from chat, I think from the same guy, and it is uh, the Pokemon Snap Pikachu. Mm. Oh. I love that one. Snap. Pokemon. Snap. That dog here, though. But we're starting to lose our up. minds in this room, man. Welcome Can't back, forget. my orange pants friend. Not Thank you very much, you guys. Too much, but now, you know, before the show, um, <laughs> I stopped celebrating my birthday like a long time ago. But because of the show, I you know, you it became an event again, which is really to cool. Pipe with me? I don't think I ever no, really did birthday stuff. You know what I mean? Ever. That's creepy. Maybe cause you trouble. I think we have to get Ask high you, with this guy. My brother, be mellow, go with flow. This guy's very chill. Can we smoke it? I press my hookah X on it. He's breaking earthquake. Cannot Who knows, smoke what with else it. break here in old house? Maybe something in attic. Maybe you want to go find out. Maybe something in attic, he says. Mm. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, I forget. Who are you again? There we go. And so, my favorite subject arrives. It is in this room that all the secrets will be revealed. I will employ an experimental device that helps me chart the undiscovered country. But you can't come to the show yet. First, you'll make an answer. Thank you, Jim. That you truly oh, want to be cured, oh and that you truly are worthy of my time. He's asking where you get your cards you for soon. Pokemon, Lou. Ah, uh, Walmart. Hope. There it is, Walmart. Dude, you know what they're doing soon? I saw them at Big Five too, like yeah, sporting they, goods they've stores. They've got them at Target, Big Five, because the baseball cards, right? Baseball, yeah. So they've got to have other cards, uh, and Walmart. But you know what they're coming out with? Hmm. They're redoing the original 151. They're redoing the originals? Well, they're not redoing them. They're just doing a collection that's only okay. the original 151. That's, that's cool. I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'm going to try to collect some of those. Yes, I think that's it. <clears throat> when all else fails, go for the I've got a holographic Charizard, Jess, okay? The brute force solution. This is creepy. <laughs> Can I shock him? Can I just shock his dumb ass? Cool. Or did that charge him up so he's more powerful? Oh! Oh! It was you! Whoa. I cured him. Whoa. So let me just turn it on and then I'll get over there. Get Coming. in there. Actually, I kind of like being a monster. I'm going to keep that going. Cool. I'm just going to stay being monstery. I mean, you don't have a family anymore. Who cares? <clears throat> Scyther the goat. Shiny Scyther. Rise up. Yeah, Scyther was always dope. Pokemon designs Ew, back. were so good and they've Pictures just always kind of been shittier ever since, huh? I got a question for you, chat. Hitmonlee or Hitmonchamp? Make your choice. There's a third one now, right? We don't talk about that. We oh. only count the original two. Hitmonmon? Man, everybody's picking lead, Everybody's bro. lead out. Lead you up. like that, Lou. Lead up. You set yourself up, dude. I always pick Hitmonchamp, and then I would name him Rocky. They're both cool, man. Yeah. kind of want just one of each. Yeah, the original designs were so good. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, Hitmon Chan, my bad. Ew! Champ's cool too, for the Rocky vibes. Machamp, yeah. I love Machoke, Machamp, Machop. Machop. All the fighting Champ. Pokemon were always super sick in the original 151. Champ, Chop, Chop, Mon. Rorschach's guy lost his mind. Got his eye removed. New dog hype over here. The nicest dog ever. Very scared. Hasn't bathroomed yet, but is fine. Oh, nice. Dude, how's it going, dude? I know we were talking about getting a new doggo. Glad to hear you picked up the pup. Everything's good. Congratulations. Gooch. Nice. 
Yeah, everything's good. Make sure to walk them. That's what's going to make them go potty. Want the little guy to get acclimated to the new home. Hell yes. Puppy house now. It's a dog house now. I still got that dog in him. A new puppy smell. You got that dog in him. Remember that feeling when you first get a puppy? And you're like, dude, I can't wait to get home to see my puppy, dude. It's Aww. so hype, dude. Gotta get that pup. Check the Discord. What have they been doing all day? Yep. Yeah, Let's see. I'm always in the pet paradise. If I was a Pokemon, I'd be Hitmon Chonk. Chonk <laughs> I'd be Snorlax for sure, dude. <laughs> oh, wow, dude, I would be Psyduck. Kidding me. Psyduck has the coolest design ever. He's just a big, dumb, fat duck. Awesome. Look at that puppo. Oh, dude. Very cute. That's a very cute dog. <clears throat> cute. Nowhere do the stars shine as brightly as they do on Carnate Island. On this very stage where it is my pleasure to introduce to you the world of your own mind. Given a dark enough environment, this projector, this wonder of modern science, allows me to appear here before you today. And now... No more shall my talent be confined. Uh, Killjoy, you need to work on your AI, man. Yeah, they all spawn in the same spot. Which is kind of nice for a TNT spam. I dumb you killing all my freaks! What the fuck? The Cult of the Lamb dev is gonna delete the game? Yeah, the, for no. the Unity thing. No. no. I think they're gonna try to port it over to another game engine so they don't have to use Unity. Is wow. what they're what they're doing. That's terrible. No fucking way. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, what about games like that? I think they wouldn't have done it if they didn't say that they're gonna do retroactively doing the install thing. Holy shit. <clears throat> Unity really fucked up. Yep. What yeah. else is uh, Unity? Cuphead? Cuphead, yes. Oh my god, imagine the work it would take to like redo Cuphead to just keep it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's gonna be like, um... Oh yeah, did you guys hear the uh, Only Up guy? What happened? He fucking uh, pulled off a Flappy Bird and he couldn't take all the stress of the success. No. And he removed it from Steam. Wow. Why does this always happen? I don't think that had to do with Unity, but I saw that too. Ah! <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> do ah, do like, people like stalk him and stuff? Like what what happened? Couldn't handle the stress of it all. Oh. I mean he was kind of using copyrighted assets, and maybe that's kind of what gets a little yeah, bit uh the same with the Flappy Bird guy, right? Yep. Same as Flappy Bird. Ooh, Unfortunate, now man. PT vibes of baby crying in there. Someone gave him a reality check with assets. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, that sucks. So, like, all those narrations in the game of, like, you you suck, you're a piece of shit, you fucker. You know that stuff? Yeah. That was all his internal monologue. Oh. You're just a dumb kid. You no. need to stay in the favela. Damn. God damn it. I knew it was going to happen, and it still happened. Stop it. It's doing way too much damage. I'm glad I beat uh, Cult of Lamb before, uh, you know. Such a good game. Really good. The music in that game, too. Good I have a shit. question. If I built, let's say, uh, Donkey Kong Country Visualizer using Unity, and people download it, do you think they're going to come after me? Um, it has, there's a threshold you have to get past. Okay, good, then I'm safe. It's mostly, like, big devs and, like, indie devs who kind of hit it big on a, uh, you know, Cult of Lamb, but Cult of Lamb got, uh, kind of juiced up with, uh, Devolver. Yeah, when we were even looking in them, what does it take to make a game? I was like, dude, Unity looks like the best one, because I love Cuphead and I love Cult of the Lamb. I would want that look for a video game. It's such a cool look. Yeah, about Well, that. I better go onto that Discord and delete that thing. Yeah. Just hey, you know case. what I'm a big fan of? Open source software. Open source software is the banger. Let's support in open source. Let's go. <clears throat> Are we doing the state of play? What time is it? Uh, two o'clock is for this um, PlayStation. Good. But I heard it's mostly just FF7 remake stuff. I've heard it's gonna be mostly Spider-Man stuff. 
Maybe a little Spider-Man. But I already know I'm playing Spider-Man. I don't need more spoilers. Where the fuck do they want me to go? Don't you grab me. Don't you fucking... So I don't know how Unreal does their, uh, you know... I don't know if they do like a subscription thing or a flat fee, but that's what happens. It's like you you buy a you don't buy a license anymore. You're renting a license. So then they just change the the rules on you, and you're forced to use it because you built your whole platform off. Isn't Fortnite Unity? I did. Both projectors. What cards and decks do I usually buy from Walmart? Um, depends what they have in. Right now they have a lot of the. What's it called? Violet or whatever. What's the newest one on Switch? Uh, um, I forget. Scarlet and Violet, I think. I think it is Violet, yeah. I think they're having a DLC soon. Huh. I think they're protected by glass. The Pokemon Go packs were cool. I like those. The camera blocks the way. Oh. Try TNT for the cameras. There's a flash. I don't think I have TNT anymore. <clears throat> hmm. Dude, pretty soon nobody should be using Unity then, right? I mean, fuck them if they're going to like uh, do shit like this. Yeah, if they're going to pull yeah. this. How can they just like retro? Uh, it's probably in the terms of service that nobody read, huh? Well, I mean, it's it's um, it's a combination of a several different things. I think it's more of a complex answer to what you're asking. But... That seems crazy to be like, yeah, you can make your own stuff on this platform, and then years later, just be like, yeah, now we're gonna need money for that stuff you created. So they're justifying it by when you install the game, you're installing their runtime thing which lets you run unity right and right. when you know because there's new operating systems there's new graphics mm -hmm. cards that come out there's new cpus that come out they have to keep up to date so they're constantly refreshing that and they're like well that's taking up too much of our money so uh we're gonna offset the cost that's crazy. i don't agree with it personally but i think that's their justification for it why not just put like hey donate here uh, because, uh, that's not as much money as, uh, forcing, uh, big devs to, uh, fork over, uh, you know, a quarter of a billion, uh, dollars. Check all of these rooms. I hear a lady crying. Someone ate shit in the bathtub again. <laughs> Someone ate spaghetti in that bitch. Oh, it's this guy. Right? Can you shoot this camera? Uh, I can't shoot any cameras, I don't think. Wait. This? I think I did shoot it once. See how it took like eight more bullets? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cameras have health bars. Daddy? Is that you, Daddy? Daddy? I miss you a lot. When are we going to see you again, Daddy? 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 <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Daddy, when will I see you again? Yeah, that's also a thing. The, the, the executives sold their shares of Unity before they made the announcement, which is always fun. I forgot what that... This is a weird puzzle part. I forgot what that... Oh, Ooh, shit. Scary. No flashlight. Jesus, it's dark. I just have flares, I think. I don't know how to use one, though. How the fuck do I use a flare? Hmm. Who the fuck? Who's there? Oh shit. Hello? 
Who's in there? Oh, it's a crazy room. Can I lock myself in? Just a crazy room. Just a room to be crazy in. Okay. Moving on. Sort of want to see producer Michael going through a mansion. Go, All right, let's look in here. Oh, wow. This room's just sort of uh, just completely um, upholstered. There's a wall-to-wall -wall padded room. Looks like it's got some artwork on the walls here. Is this a Banksy? This is God help the beast in me. Must be like a band or something. I love this. Uh, did you know this artist? I love this material. It's nice. I was in a band. Spectacular. Something happens and I'm head over heels. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful, Michael. It's perfect. I never find out. Till I'm head over heels. Oh no. Sometimes it is the Ooh. body that threatens the safety of the mind. Sometimes it must rats? be removed. Oh, he's being eaten by rats. They should put him out of his misery? Yes. You made the right choice. It did the right thing. Thanks, baby. Yeah, you don't well, want him to suffer. A... He's not going to live. Look at him. Well, Adam, look, there's a dead guy in here struggling with no lower body. Sad. We'll put him out of his misery. Check these doors. Jay Sleazy, welcome back. 97 months. Yo, thank you, man. Hmm. Okay, just hearing the pitter patter of my feet. Don't break my heart, don't take my heart, don't, don't, don't throw it away. Get it, Ooh, Lou. Going down. Get it, Lou, get it. Oh my god, oh. the pickup sound is frightening as hell. There's a lever. Where? Uh, right there. What the fuck? Unless you break something here or something. I might have to, like, hulk out. Hulk or, out, dude! What if or you were jump <laughs> out? What if you're just out of hulk power? I think it loads it up while you're in there, maybe. No. Maybe jump out? Maybe jump out. He mad. Up we go. Got to jump out sometimes when you get stuck. That's the only way out. Thank That's you very it. much, motors. Much appreciated. Hey, thank you, man. Almost looks like I can go in there. I want to see what's in that room up there. Can you jump that, dude? No. All right, now let's see here. We've done this room. Hmm. We've done these rooms. There's a room where the light won't find you. Holding hands while the world comes tumbling down. Oh, jump up. Jump up. Jump up, you fool. No. I mean, it looks like you could. Unless you can push something. This guy constantly breathing. Is there anything in the room I can use to jump off of? Use the guy's body. It's like a trampoline. I would. <laughs> there you go. This uh, crate here. Yeah, drag it. Will it fit? Will it drag? Damn, that's a tight squeeze, man. Oh my god, it's a tight squeeze. This might be for like an extra or something. Because we're too clever for figuring out this one, fellas. Lou killing it. Oh, Lou's got that voice, dude. I just love Tears for Fears. Got that golden voice. I still can't believe that producer Michael is the drummer in Tears for Fears. I can believe it. That is so cool. I have so much more respect. He's just so cool. What the? Like, he went from, like, a level 7 of cool to, what? like, a level 11. He was only 7 in your in book? In my book, yeah. Wow. Wow, that's low. No, 7? 7's cool. seven, pretty high up there, dude. Who else is a 7? I was going to um, say, he's cool, man. Seth Rogen now. Seth Rogen. Really? He's, a, he's, a, he's an A-list celebrity. He used to be a 10. Wow. Used to be. And then he did uh, Mario and he fell? No, after Sausage Party, it was all downhill from there. Oh, I see. Yeah. What the fuck is going Yo, what on the in fuck here? What is this game? This part's getting extra weird, man. Is that a bussy? 
I don't know, but I, I heard his new movie is pretty good. I, I love it. what he did to the Ninja Turtles. I haven't seen Ninja Turtles, so I know, thought maybe it was, his score will go up. I thought he made it pretty dope. Good on him for making a Ninja Turtle movie good. It's pretty good, and that's from Ninja Turtles himself. Wow. So, you know, it's got to be pretty good. What about Michael Bay? <clears throat> I don't talk about Michael Bay. He Isn't he supposed there? to be coming out with a Beyblade movie? Or is that Jerry Bruckheimer? I can't remember. Jerry Bruckheimer. <laughs> Beyblade. You want a Beyblade movie? I want it I mean, so bad. Ah. Gosh, the golden age of radio has passed us by. Who would care to broadcast only on the audio spectrum of human perception when it is the visuals that can truly enrapture an audience? That's why we live stream. What the fuck? Where the hell? Oh, bad guys. Munchies. Boys, flashbang uh -oh. out. Can't tell what's going on. Can't monster transport. Mode? Can't block. Can't block. Can't monster. Can't monster. <laughs> Can't block. You guys should do more Beyblade RP. Honestly, yes. I have so many more Beyblades. It's a lot of fun. You have more? Oh, I have like twice as many Beyblades. <laughs> Since the last, the last time? time? Yeah. Damn, you And I'm saying the high level ones, not the little shitty ones either. You been holding out on us? Dude, I have Japanese Beyblades and stuff now. Whoa. Okay, all right. Seven on the coolness factor Dude. over here. I have a collaboration that Beyblade did with Sanrio. It's a Hello Kitty Beyblade. And Ooh. it fucks. Hello Baby? Hello Kitty. What? Yeah, it's a Beyblade. And it has Hello Kitty's face on it, dude. It's pretty sweet. It's actually like one of my top tier Beyblades. I'm not even joking. One of my best Beyblades. You're not gonna lie. One of my best Beyblades. Can't lie. I didn't know you were still in the Beyblade game, Lou. Yeah, I play with the kids. It's fun. Oh, I have like five stadiums too. So. Damn. Cool. Dude. Some of them have it where there's no out of bounds. Fuck. So it's either it's either endurance or you know whoever breaks. Uh, when you're uh when you're uh playing with the boys, right? Yeah. Do you get really competitive? Um, when you're they do. I don't really care if I win or lose. Oh, okay, that's good. But I mean, it's hard for Ollie to rip it hard enough to compete with me. So Your I hands. usually, you know, I go a little easier on him. Can't rip. How are you supposed to rip, man? Dude, I went easy on him on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom because we got the cocktail table. Right. Mm -hmm. I was going easy on him, and he's like, you suck. <gasps> he started talking shit, and I was uh -oh. like, oh, okay. I went Spider-Man Cyclops and just fucking, not Cyclops. <laughs> well, oh, no, I did because we had Marvel vs. Street Fighter, and I just started air comboing the shit out of him. Sometimes and then I did the calamity put that boy or whatever. back in his place. Dude, he, I think it was like almost a perfect. I think he landed like two hits and he was just like, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, I should have gone so hard on him. Shit. I was like, yo, don't talk shit. Like, be a gracious <laughs> winner. You know? You got you to humble him. I had to show him. If yeah, I wanted you gotta to, get the I could easily treatment. destroy him. That'll teach him. You got to make him humble. I always love that Louis' kids just. Are Rod and Todd voices <laughs> just not re just not super religious, but they're Rod and Todd. Yeah. Oh my God, fucking Jeremy! I don't know where he gets his memes. Like, where do these kids get these memes these days? He watches a lot of like YouTube. Where's his local? We are in the Disney store, right? Yeah. That's only for Disney cast members. Mm. And there was like a fucking like statue of Rapunzel from Tangled. Yeah. And her fucking feet were out, and Jeremy goes, "Look, Dad." Free feet pics and all these women, <laughs> all these women turned around and looked uh -oh. at him and was like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Jeremy, you can't say that. You can't say uh -oh. that. Got you him. can't say that." He's like, "What? This what I say?" So sweet dude. For free. I was like, "What For the free. fuck, bro?" Like loud too. <laughs> Free. I was like, what the fuck, bro? And I'm like, Jeremy, I know you don't know what that means because he doesn't understand anything about, you know, sexual stuff at all. Okay. 
He's just like, com- he's just you off don't the know top. What that means? He's but that's like dome. very inappropriate. He's like, oh, I thought it was just funny. Yeah, for feet sake. Yeah, like people just want pictures of feet. <laughs> Just silly. Yeah, he has no just idea innocent. that there's some dude like, oh yeah, oh you know what God. I mean. Like Rapunzel. he has no clue. Oh my God. Okay, I need to go down in the basement. <laughs> I figure out what door goes down here. Three feet back. Was Rapunzel? No. Let that hair down. Rapunzel. From Tangled, the girl, Tangled, yeah. I don't know what her name is. I've, yeah, never, I've only seen it like one time. I'm just trying to, you know, <laughs> just think about it, you know, visualize it. Just trying to be there with you in the moment. Which, Did who, he learn this speed from are we Tarantino? About? I, I haven't shown him any uh, Tarantino movies yet. Tarantino. I almost started watching uh, Pulp Fiction with him the other day, and then I remembered the oh, whole scene. Oh, no. The whole, oh, here we go. The whole, uh part when they're at Quentin Tarantino's house or whatever. I was like, yeah, I mean, that's not a good yeah. one to watch. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's not too good. Maybe when he can start talking Here about the artistic approach to uh, cinematography, <laughs> then you can have a uh, conversation. Yeah. <laughs> the whole movie, I mean, yeah, I mean, once I turned it on for myself, I was like, we could watch this. I got past the scene in the diner and I was like, oh, okay, maybe not. I think I sought yeah. out like uh, Pulp Fiction at a, a fairly young age, though. Like myself, like Kazaa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I saw A Clockwork Orange when I was like 13. Pretty young. And that movie's pretty brutal, bro. God, when I first saw Pulp, Pulp Fiction, man. God, that movie's good. My choice? Artificial actors. Synthetic prosthetic people who are synthetic much resistant people. to cool. direction. They will not argue, they will not complain, they will not make it, they will simply... Fucker, get off my back! Damn, they do a lot of damage. Get off of my back! You saw Kate oh, when you're 10? Oh, oh no! That will be scary. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I like all the inappropriate ages of watching like, like crazy rated R movies. Yeah, chat, what's a movie that fucked you up? Evil Dead when I was 10 years old was pretty fucking crazy. The one we just watched on yes. Patreon? It haunted me. Rewatching it, it wasn't as bad as like my mind made it out to be. But it's still pretty bad. I think I saw Chucky 2 at too young of an age. Yeah, I saw that one pretty early in RoboCop. Taxi Cab Confession. Oh, dude, I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> like, crack my horse parents dick. had no idea. <laughs> that should be the last of these goddamn They projectors. put, like, one of those uh, lock-ins on, on my satellite box. Oh, parental controls. Yeah, and mm. I, I figured it out. I'm like, oh, it's our old address. They got him. They go. I needed to figure it out because they blocked WWE. Oh, they're like, we don't want you watching this anymore. You're getting fights at school. No like, raw. It's it kept, not because of SmackDown. Louie kept going to school and going, suck it. Suck it. Suck I think that might have had something to do with it. That suck definitely it. had something to do suck with it. it. <laughs> suck it. You're DXing. I remember I saw Reservoir Dogs when I was like 13 or 12. And after that, my online name was Mr. Blonde. Nice. Then you had an alias, a gamer <laughs> tag. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to get out of here? Hmm. Dead end over here. People would always go, Mr. Blonde, like, are you a girl or something? You're blonde? They didn't watch the movie. It's like, Almost you've never seen this. Reservoir Dogs? No. I mean, even Mr. Pink is uh, pretty badass. Yeah. Mr. Pink, arguably the most badass. My favorite's the fat guy. He's like, yeah, yeah, you, you gotta tip him. What do you mean you don't tip? What do you mean you don't tip? <laughs> the fat guy in charge is cool. Yeah, he's the Chris Penn. What do you mean? You're supposed to tip. Yeah, the first time I saw it, it was on like IFC. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They were like, we're running it. And I was like, what is this movie? It looks really cool. I had to watch it. And I watched the whole thing. I was like, yo, this movie. Dude. It's on another level. I never seen Pulp Fiction or anything at that point. Yeah. How the fuck? You saw Chucky when you were three? 
How do you even yeah. the fact that you can remember that? Was it on TV? Oh, like he, on TNT oh, or some shit? He though? remembers, I bet. Well, fucking, uh, he's ca he's crawling out of the fucking uh, fireplace. <laughs> His face is melting. Break the box near the axe. This one right here. There it is. So I use this to block it. Oh, okay, I didn't even know. This one's... Oh. I was going to say, this is the biggest block. I was like, I don't feel like the guy can't use it. Cool. Silence of Lamb at five. Thank you, chat. Oh, that's appropriate. Oof. It reminds me of when I, when I saw uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and there was a crying infant in there at the fucking yeah. sodomy scene. Dude, my, fa <laughs> my favorite meme is uh like... <laughs> So one of the ushers from the movie theater like took a picture inside the Fifty Shades of Grey. They're like, after Fifty Shades of Grey, this is what we found. And there was like a fucking cucumber with a condom on it. <laughs> <laughs> and, like a bottle of wine. Jesus, man. <laughs> it's fucking dying. Jesus. <laughs> Pretty sure they did that on purpose, but it's so fucking Ow. funny. Ouch. <laughs> Getting wine wasted. Hitting that shit Paul Rubin style, dude. Woo, shit. Rest in peace. R.I.P. R.I.P. Okay, this puzzle wasn't too bad. It's just so dark. God, even looking at the stream, it's like you guys can barely see yeah. shit. They wanted you to be in the dark in this part. All right, we're in the main lobby now. It's one of no. Shaq's cucumbers. One of Shaq's cucumbers. <laughs> I call this the, the diesel cucumber. <laughs> I like dirty bass music. Got a big knuckle, ones. Got a big old cucumbers. This is the cucumber you take to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> you ever heard this movie? This music called the rhythm. It's sick. The rhythm of the night. Kazam! Oh, I, I am Kazam. At last, you have made it to the climax of this fine Yay! performance. Let me introduce our newest player. This fascinating specimen is a creature of oh, pure strength and rage, whose presence here must prove quite a conundrum to you. His resemblance to these other soulless beasts cannot be denied, but he is altogether harder to truly understand. But with the capabilities of my experimental device, I can bring about a rebirth of the spirit, a reawakening of the soul. And thus, we can shed light on this most unique situation. Why not come inside, and I shall show you. I can't tell what's real. Come inside, we'll show you. Favorite cereal? O's. O-H apostrophe S. Those are really good. Peanut butter Captain Crunch. That's a good choice, too. O's is number two for me. I'm a cinnamon toast crunch uh, main. That's number three. Oh, he's bringing him back to life, motherfucker. Jeez. Did you have to kill the cameras? What are you doing? Stop it. No. Stop it. Stop that. No. No. Stop that. Flashbang. Do you see? Do you see? Flashbang. TNT. Uh, behind you, maybe? I can't kill... All of them. So where's that chain go? There's a lever. There it is. Oh, got it. No, no stop it. <laughs> you bastard. Smack. Kill Dr. Killjoy. Got achievement page. I gotta kill this dude. What's my deepest fear? We got people mixing three kinds of cereal into one. How do you feel about that? Whoa. Guess it breaks. I, I appreciate the, uh, you know. Dude, they had, uh. Let me, like, zap myself. Fruity pebbles with Our marshmallows one. for a while. Oh, that yeah. That shit was off the chain. What the fuck was the point of doing this shit? 
you have like a new power. Like, can you control the freaks now? Oh, no, he's normal. Oh, where'd he go? Astonishing. The progress you have made today is considerable. All right. Well, goodbye. That power was like kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> uh, can I like do that? to every monster now because that'd be fucking crazy make them the, fight for you if at the point in this game i can just like spirit ball a monster and make them turn human cool and this whole time we've just been like killing guards and people who could have been saved <laughs> it's kind of cool you lost your mind where is my yeah, i haven't really i don't really fuck with cereal i mean it's so much so much milk yeah i don't eat it anymore you're farting and shit and all the sugar it's like you're buzzing it's like, and it doesn't fill you up like at all it's too much yeah how many bowls of cereal do you need before you're like all right i'm ready to go <laughs> dude you have to eat at least like four <laughs> bowls of cereal like i think i, I could seriously eat a whole box of cinnamon toast crunch in one sitting yeah and not like it i mean i, I could do it i'll fuck them up dry no milk Still fuck you. Just eat it like chips, nothing. you know? Yeah. I could eat a whole box of peanut butter crunch, like, dry with just my hands. Raw? And I'll still be full. Go I mean, raw. not full. I'll Going be hungry raw. still. Yeah, like, you gotta go fuck? raw. fuck is the point of this? Raw dog and cereal? That's fucking... Mm. Like, usually I don't, you know, like to eat stuff at the movie theater, but if I was... Uh, dude, I'd rather just bring a thing of O's and just fucking munch on that. Oh, no, if I saw... <laughs> so a, loud a and annoying. Just, <laughs> the guy just eating cereal, I'd be like, damn, this guy knows how to do it. <laughs> you know how fucking annoying that would be if the guy a row in <laughs> front of you is going... <laughs> <laughs> crunching it. <laughs> well, and hitting those cocoa crisps. I gotta say, dry, though, O's might be top tier number one. Maybe that's why they go with popcorn as the movie treat. It's like... It's not noisy to eat it, but it's yeah. it's got a crunch to it, but it's not noisy crunch. A soft crunch, if you will. <laughs> oh god, is this a maze here? You'll never find us in here. Oh fuck. Jeez. Yeah, fuck this, I'm out. You never find in here. I I mean we can go through the gate or we could chase them through the maze. Let me see how crazy the maze gets. Ah! Grape nuts? Yeah, 70 years old. <laughs> yeah. Minute, yeah, Sometimes put the, the boomer cereal is good, though. We may though. be bigger, but we're smarter. We big and smart. I don't know if you're that smart. Cover your tracks. The children will lead me out of here. Oh, Ask this me is, this. Um, this is getting an axe if you didn't. Well, no, you would have had to pick it I up. I think it's a shining yes, Easter egg. Yes, exactly, Pops. I was just going to say that. The Shinnin. The Shinnin. That's really cool. My brain flakes. If you're regular, I just want to stay regular. Eat something with some vitamin A. Mm -mm. The rats. Yo, fat rats. Big fat rats. It'll be a cold day in Hades before I relent to you Whoa. fiends. What? What the fuck? What oh, the no. fuck? Rats that Carnivorous do damage? Rats. Oh shit, fuck, ow. Exploding rats. <laughs> I enjoy Raisin Bran. <laughs> raisin Bran is pretty good. It's got to be the two scoops, though. It's got to be two scoops, <laughs> but you it's gotta good. Have extra raisins. I'll burn you all. I enjoy raisin bran. Me too. Oh fuck, big boys. One scoop, please. No, no, no. One scoop's all I need. Two is just simply too much sweetness. Do Why have my work? They have cranberry raisin cookies. Oh, shit. Okay. They're actually really fucking good. Hit the partners. Fuck with yeah. that. I can work with that. I mean, cranberry oatmeal, not cranberry raisin. Excuse me. Well, I, I'm a fan of an oatmeal cookie, but then again, I'm a boomer. Dude, chocolate chip oatmeal, though? Oh, boy. Oof. Oh, budge. Frisbee with the raisin bran crunch. You should never play the true with fire. answer. It's not safe. What? The oh, they played fuck? with fire. They burned the house down. Those twins. Gotta reload. 
Burning down the house. Grape nuts goes hard. <laughs> My Damn. nuts go hard. We no, get, no. We're getting old out here, <laughs> chat. <laughs> I enjoy a nice friend. When I want to get lit, I enjoy a nice ball of grape nuts. Big, huge nuts. Do you like grape nuts? Ugh. Fuck these guys. God damn it. Ouch. Bomb. Honey Nut Cheerios are amazing. I have to agree. Honey Nut Cheerios are pretty fucking good. They're good, but uh, regular Cheerios regular are Regular Cheerios trash. are fucking gross. Remember uh, Frosted Cheerios? Ooh, shit. They still have those. I haven't had those since like the 90s. I think for a hot second they had a chocolate like cocoa crispy version of Cheerios. That was fire. Two scoops. Are you fucking out of your mind? You out of your god? <laughs> Yo, what's that apple cereal? Apple Jacks? Apple Jacks. Oh my just god. Just jump out of here. Oh, I can just leave. Apple Jacks is fire. That shit was delicious. I feel like under, for me, Apple Jacks is kind of underrated. Last time I thought that and I got them, I was like, it'd been a while. I was like, oh, these were not as good as I remember. Yeah. Super, sugary. Super sugary. In my sugary. head, they seem so good. So I don't want to ruin that memory. Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. I think it's kind of fucked up. You don't like pops. Pops. Oh, the corn thing? I love those. They're awful. Oh, like God. one of the worst. You have to eat them as soon as they hit the milk. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know what I want to eat? A corn-flavored styrofoam peanut. It's disgusting. They're good, Blech. dude. It's good, good corn. It's good corn. What are you talking about? Hey, delicious corn flavor. I'd rather have a bowl of regular corn. Like a hot, <laughs> buttery bowl of corn. Sounds way Dude, better. Speaking of a bowl of way corn, better. that fucking video you sent me on Instagram fucked me up. Which one? Where the guy fucking eats a bunch of corn and then he fucking like I don't remember shits it into like a fucking thing and then he washes it and then he eats it again. I I, I think he's I think he's I didn't send you that one. Maybe you didn't. I didn't send you that. Dude. It was fucked up. I don't remember. Dude. It wasn't real. It was like a meme. Oh, I didn't send that. No, I would have known. I was like, oh, which one have I sent? Because I sent some bangers. It, was, it fucked me up, bro. I was like, that is fucking gross. The meme that I think I sent last was like is like that clip of Trump. Where you go, it's like a picture of him and the caption is like when you're at the you're pretending to shit on the toilets in Home Depot. And it's like clip of Trump where he goes, oh, 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 ow, ooh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like that clip is so fucking insane. Oh, that, that guy was a oh, president and there's a clip of him oh, going, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and in that clip, oh, isn't he making fun of how someone else is like so really weak? weak? Yeah. And he's like, oh, trying to push weights. Oh, 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 it's so heavy. Oh. Oh, fuck, I went the wrong way. I'm gonna come. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that producer Michael clip. It's more like the tongue out. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna succumb. I'm going to succumb. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Retreat, you upstarts. Maybe this will keep you back. It was like nuclear bombs didn't, going off. Didn't work. Yeah, there you go. Maybe this will keep you back. I'm going up to this guy. Who is this dude? Checkpoint. Molotov. Ooh, new uh, consumable. You're going to want to save those, I think, for the rats. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's the guy? Did he catch himself on fire? Is that him he right there? He blew himself up. Yeah, maybe he died. Oh. Oh, boy. I don't want to accidentally waste these. It's a, it's a picture of Jack Daniels. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> And then just monster out. Just a quick little monster. 
When y'all are gonna Elden Ring? I was thinking about this Friday. Return to our co-op run. I'm down. I can just stream from my house. Yeah, we just gotta double check it offline. Make sure it's working now. I hope so, dude. I don't want to lose that shit. <laughs> Fucking them up. To get him on that last hit. Cool. You're losing health. Oh yeah, I forgot it like drains your health to do that. Yeah, I didn't know that until it started happening. I was always like, what the hell's with the power for the being a monster, like, what is... Ooh, where do I get those? Hmm. How do I go around this mountain? I thought it was the meter to my... Uh, right by the life, but... Hmm. JD, the only man you let slide down your throat. What? That Jack D, huh? You're not Jim, huh? Never a Jim. Never a Jim Bean. I'm gonna chop all this wood. Come That's on. Choppable. It's choppable. This is like the most practical use for this right now. I thought you were talking about Johnny Depp. Hmm. The only fan you let slide down your throat. Wow. For me, that's cool. Danny DeVito. Oh, can I uh, let this thing go this, and maybe? let it. Can I let crank it go? Crank that soldier boy. <clears throat> what does these do? And then push it, maybe? Just let it ride. Cool. Dude, that was sick. Uh. Oh, it's like tilted. Now I can jump. Ah, see. How the fuck do you get these? Oh well. Maybe it's our way around it? Oh well, fuck it. Just a Just few more ammo. A few extra mollies. Wonder how much left we have in this game. It's, I, I know it's only like a five hour ish game, but we get stumped a few times. Made a pretty good uh, chunk out of it. Oh, also for the month of uh, October, if you guys have games to recommend for, uh, you know, scary stuff and things to check out, drop in the Discord. No, we never really played Bioshock. Ooh. Yeah, I would like to do that. That was a good one. The, not the remaster, though, because it was fucking broken as shit. Bug snacks? No, not bug snacks. Uh, I watched my son beat that whole game. Definitely not worth playing. I'll play that. Ow. Oh, shit, almost killed me. To the sea, you aquatic atrocities! I dare say. <laughs> Who said that? Hmm. Bug snacks? Oh, God. Bug snacks. That's You're midway the through the game. game. Is it a return to the bug snacks playthrough? Bug snacks. Bug Ugh, snacks. Please don't. Bug snacks. Everyone oh, wants it. bug snacks. I'll save it here and we can pick this up next time, though. Sounds good. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, dude. Chat, thank you guys for hanging out. Sorry if we missed any of your subs. We appreciate all the subs and all the love. Too cool, Deadpool thing, man. Wow. Crazy. In one day, we had so much alien stuff and had all the alien stuff debunked. Within the same stream. <laughs> That's how fast these new cycles work, man. We got to get on top of it. God, man. It's like crazy aliens are real. Ah, they're fake. Keep going. Just got to keep going. False alarm. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same Djibouti time. Some of this music, right? Yeah. Let's forget, we can always play some of this music because it's copyright free, dude. I know your name. Yo, that bomb I rush. I want to play more of this game. Girl. Appreciate dude, you, chat. The story. I'm telling you, the story in this game is fire. Good. I was enjoying the. What part did game. you get to? We just got to the part where you met the main dude of the rival gang who's like hit that face mask thing. Mm -hmm. Just past the old heads. And then old heads. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're about to get into it. Tell it was me. really good. I want to play more of it, man. Bomb Rush. There's a lot of stuff on the back burner we want to do, too. Oh, yeah. Hi-Fi Rush would be cool, too. There's a lot of Rush games, man. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Hell, yes. Bye, everybody.
If you happen to see me at Disneyland, say sup. Sup, dude. Or check him out on Lunatic Live on Twitch. Lunatic Live on Twitch. Playing some Starfield, baby. I'm a, I'm a fucking space ranger, brother. Space ranger. Deputy of the law. Space ranger, man. You're a space man. All right, guys. We'll see you. Good night, everyone.